Agent Six. Ma'am. Your assignment is to be the vanguard of the Kisaragi Corporation. Our advance man, our spy. Ma'am. We've discovered several planets in the known universe that appear to be extremely similar to Earth. And we'll need you to scout one of them. Ma'am. to do this whole spiel again, because I don't follow. Exactly what do you fail to grasp? Uh, all of it? I mean, if people could even go to other planets in the first place, I'd already be out of this dump and chilling on planet Tig all bitties. Hey. <clears throat> okay, I've been silent on the whole tacky cosplay thing and never laughed at your corny titles, <gasps> but this power through the universe BS is just a bridge too far. What? My uniform isn't tacky cosplay. Look, Astaroth the Ice Queen and Belial the Great Flame are titles befitting two of the supreme leaders of Kisaragi. There's absolutely nothing tacky about them. Come on, Yukari, who are you trying to fool? Like, what do your parents think about all this stuff? Ugh, no mention of parents or anyone's real names. Listen well, Agent Six. We are on the verge of conquering this entire planet. You do understand that much of it, don't you? Yeah, more or less. So when that conquest is fully complete, what do you think happens to you combat agents? <laughs> we become gods on Earth and spend our days rolling inside a soft supple pit of hot lady flesh? Imbecile! You'll be cut from the workforce! You mean you'd actually fire me? That's right. <gasps> hey! You made me go through all those operations and stuff, so you can't just throw me in the trash! You owe me! At least let me come live with it's you and be your sexy house husband, me. okay? I can explain everything if you stop me! Current space travel technology hasn't taken us any farther than the moon, but our third supreme leader and scientific genius, Lilith the Dark, has been working on solving that issue. Behold! Feast your eyes on yet another of my marvels of engineering that may be the answer to every problem facing humanity today! So what is it, Lilith? Kinda looks like a teleporter from an old-timey sci-fi movie. What a sharp observation! Especially coming from such a dull brain. Mm -hmm. hmm. And lurking behind it is yet another masterpiece. Alice, come here. Huh? Huh? Uh, so who's the brat? I am not just some brat. Mind your tone around your betters, Loby. <laughs> What the? You'd better watch your tone, because a combat agent for an evil organization is not above hurting kids! Oh, so much as lay a finger on me, and my core reactor will melt down and vaporize everything within a wide radius. But if that's not a problem, proceed. As I was saying, my official designation isn't that of a child. It's Kisaragi High Spec Pretty Girl Android. Really? Indeed it is. This is Alice, a high-spec android created to provide you critical support. I've been informed that you're a complete moron, so allow me to do all the thinking once our mission begins. Sorry, but the last thing I need is a mouthy little walking time bomb sidekick, okay? Any other weapons or additional items you may require can be obtained with a written request via this miniature teleporter. Your chips will send us your coordinates. You will have two primary objectives. First, to secure a base. There, you'll assemble a teleporter for two-way travel with Earth. Secondly, to survey the planet. Your subjects are wide-ranging. Military threats, natural resources, things of that sort. Uh... If conditions are favorable, we'll solve both our environmental and food supply crises in one fell swoop. Uh, hold up. This is actually some kind of big deal. The future of the Earth is at stake mission you're sending me on. Indeed. Failure is not an option. You're trusting the fate of the whole world to me? Well, um, Agent Six, I've known you ever since Kisaragi Corporation was founded. I consider you to be... to be like another one of Kisaragi's supreme leaders. <laughs> A lot of crazy stuff has happened, but I've enjoyed myself. And the time we've spent building the corporation together. I don't know what'll happen on this alien world, but I'll do the best I can to come back. Uh, you dummy! You realize you're supposed to promise that you'll come back. What's more, you'll be required to send us detailed weekly reports. Let us know that the mission is proceeding, and that you're doing well. 
Astaroth. Can I give you a big hug before I go? Uh, why not go for a kiss instead? I can! You're into it, right? genius like Lilith the Dark doesn't make junk, right? It, by the way, what's the success rate for the teleporter? I'm sure you've run a lot of tests! As of now, the success rate is sitting at 100%, and that is all you need to know. <clears throat> but you've tested it out a bunch of times though, right? Perhaps I should put it this way, Agent 6. If I ran a lot of experiments and one failed, well, the success rate would fall below 100. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to back out now, sorry. <laughs> Almost positive that you'll come back in one piece. Ready? Ah. Wait! You're not a genius! You're just a nut job! I can overlook you as my I know you're scared. Now get going, Agent Six! something if we need anything we can just shoot a request with this can't we agent six how many evil points do you have mm, somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 or so 300 that's not nearly enough for the two of us to conquer a fortress like that request denied now wait a damn minute we gotta use our own evil points to get stuff sent to us i spent a lot of time doing low-level evil deeds just to save up this many just how thick is that skull of yours evil points aren't some kind of fun little bonus all kisaragi employees are required to get a chip implanted in their brain as a condition of employment the chips detect any evil acts they perform and give an appropriate number of points depending on the action you earned evil points yeah yeah rust bucket i am aware of that so what exactly have you been using your points on up till now you're supposed to trade them for better equipment to make yourself stronger or improve your overall performance. <laughs> you probably trade them for pornography and then report it as necessary materials. But your status is the only thing not rising. How dare you be right and also shut up. Anyway, my point is, instead of being stingy, they should just send us better stuff. Then, the Great Agent Six would be able to take down any... Uh... Ah, you liar! You said this planet was a lot like Earth, and we don't have any 
big face eating dinosaur devil dogs running around! Crap! 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 <laughs> robot using a human like a shield? I'm a high-spec android designed with realism in mind, so I've been given the combat prowess of an average young girl. In other words, you're useless. It's trying to eat me! This thing's as strong as I am! Oh, it's as strong as an agent who's undergone bodily enhancement and equipped with powerful armor, huh? The life forms here are quite formidable. So instead of sitting on your can and watching, help me with a plan! I'm a rust bucket, so I can't think of anything. Sorry, I'm useless, Agent Six. Just do something before it hits me! Uh, I take back what I said before, you're not a rust bucket! That's better. Now you need to use your evil points to procure me a shotgun. Then I can help you. Fine, I'll do whatever, just hurry! Hell yeah! <sighs> Come on, Fire! Huh? She, Muyasha D, Ari! Kisari, Tagakunya, Munyi, Unf! Kisari! So, Alice, what do you say we do? Right now, we just need to let her talk a bit more. But I don't understand the word she... What language is that? I've never seen that armor before. <sighs> you don't have anything that appears to be a weapon. Tell me, who hey, are Alice, you people? I think I just gained a brand new ability. For some reason, I'm able to understand her. I was already a badass before, and now I've leveled up my game without even trying? I know comprehension isn't your forte, but what's really happening is I'm sending my translation of her language directly to your brain via the chip. Huh? The chip can really do that? Nobody told me! That is so creepy! Anyway, just leave everything to me. Fair uh, Knight, I can uh, answer any questions! All I ask is you quell your anger! Huh? This man was once in a high position in a land far, far away! He was a leader of great soldiers and a noble protector of the people! But sadly, while well, he was saving me from the clutches of a vile brute, uh, he suffered a terrible head injury which caused uh, massive brain damage! Really? Hey, now, what's with the crazy made-up backstory? Listen up, Six. You're incredibly dumb and would screw up any story you'd need to maintain, but now no one will expect any intelligence. It's for the best. What's this? Yada, yada, blah, blah, yada, yada, blah. What are you people even saying? Please forgive me, but it does tend to soothe him when I speak to him in our mother tongue. If you've traveled all this way, then where are your belongings? He's on a journey to find himself anew, to heal his mind and repair his tattered soul. But we were attacked by terrifying beasts in the forest and had to leave all of our possessions behind. Well, I'll admit at first I thought you two were bandits or fugitives. I apologize for being so harsh with you, but that is my job. <sighs> by the way, it's hard to believe you made it through the Darkwood. But hearing your story and seeing all this does explain things. You must be quite powerful. My name's Snow, and I am a commander in the Kingdom of Grace's Royal Guard. If you're short on funds, I'm sure I can help find some work for you. I appreciate your generosity, Commander Snow. Of course. I'm honored to welcome you on behalf of the Kingdom. Clearly, our meeting today was fate. <laughs> Snow, personal knight to Princess Tillis and commander of the Royal Guard. Open the gate! Thank you. <clears throat> Yo, Snow, what's the deal with that up there? It looks like some kind of beat-up old tank. A tank? You mean you're familiar with this artifact? It's an ancient weapon. Long ago, it protected our kingdom from destruction by a giant demon beast. I'll need to investigate this further. Preservation magic was mm -hmm. used on it, but the years have still taken their toll. Magic? Yes. Unfortunately, I can't use it. Only a select few have the talent for magic. The talent for magic. Explosion! This is because of that head trauma you mentioned before, isn't it? Best to just ignore it. Welcome back, Snow. I appreciate you taking that mission. But who have you brought here with you? Combat Agent 6. And I'm high-spec pretty girl android, Alice Kisaragi. 
Um, you sure that you want to keep rolling with this whole high-spec pretty girl bit? It's dumb. So you were born Combat Agent 6, or have you just forgotten what your real name Both is? Both of you need to bow! Don't you realize that you're in the presence of royalty? Princess Crystal Celestilis Grace! Crazy name. Watch your tongue! <laughs> you can just call me Tillis. Mm -hmm. You see, Alan? Now this is what an actual pretty girl looks Stop like. Talking. In case you haven't figured it out yet, Shut the princess up. giggled because she's amused by your stupidity. I see. You are definitely not from anywhere near my kingdom. Nobody who knew of my reputation would ever dream of behaving in such a way. Correct, Snow? <laughs> yes, Your Highness. In fact, they tell me that they have traveled here through the dark wood. Oh. And it appeared that they had slain a great number of deadly hags. So they must be capable fighters at the very least. Yeah! I've led a crap ton of combat agents on some super dangerous missions all over the world, ma'am. Agent Six, the kingdom is currently engaged in war with the demons, and we sorely lack for knights and commanders. Demons? The demon lord in the neighboring kingdom declared war on us without any warning. Well, that's a huge plot twist. What they want? He likely wants our land. Year after year. A massive demon beast called the Sand King turns more of their country into desert. The demon army is filled with powerful warriors, and I'm afraid our chances of victory are slim. Oh, Agent Six, I beg of you, please help and save our kingdom. I get that you're not from around here, but can you please try to control yourself? I brought you to the castle, and I don't want that to reflect poorly on me. Please forgive us, Lady Snow. Agent Six may be a bit uncouth, but he is a professional fighter. I swear he'll prove his worth in battle. And I am positive that his accomplishments will be a credit to your judgment and boost your status. <laughs> oh, so that was your plan all along, huh? You tried to convince us you wanted to help us out of the goodness of your heart. But the truth is you were just in desperate need for a guy with killer battle skills and incredibly sexy body. I don't want your body! But I'll level with you, okay? I like money and glory and a finely crafted sword more than anything else in the world! Hey, Agent Six. I've got a sneaking suspicion that you feel the same way as I do. No, I'm in an extremely high position here. If somebody tries to pick on you newbies, I won't mind using my clout as royal guard commander to crush them. You see? Both our interests line up pretty well. I'm not like you, you two-faced wench! Say what?! How dare you speak so disrespectfully to a decorated commander of the royal guard! Lady Snow, what might this object be? Oh. This is a legendary class artifact that can cause the rain to fall. Every year during the dry season, a member of the royal family offers words of prayer to it. And lo and behold, the rain comes. But it hasn't worked in quite a while, so we've been forced to buy water from other countries. I believe that I can make it work once again for you. Wait, seriously? So, do you mind if I open it up? Of course not! Even if We're you can't fix it, anyway. I'll take full responsibility. But do you think you can? Yeah. I'm pretty sure this will work. Yay! I'll go share the good news. <laughs> hey, Alice, Agent Six. We'll all share in the glory, won't we? Sound good to you? <laughs> share the glory? She didn't even do anything. Yeah, well, neither did you, actually. Oh. Okay, that should do it. Now the only thing left to do is reboot. System reboot initiated. To continue, a password reset is required. New password. Reboot complete. Please reset the password. <laughs> the password's Dick Festival! Huh? Password set to Dick Festival. Just what in the world are you doing, Agent Six? Check this out, Alice. The royal family's gonna have to say this in front of the whole kingdom! Soft cheeks of hers turn red, plus I'll rack up the evil points! You idiot. You realize Tillis isn't the only member of the royal family. <laughs> that means what you and everyone else will see is an old man shout a password that sounds like a second grader came up with it. Oh man, I'm starting to feel like that might have kind of been a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, what mistake might that be, Agent Six? You 
Well, that's just unbelievable. Holy crap, Alice. That guy's got a beard that Santa Claus would kill for. Do you think he'd get mad at me if I asked to touch it? Silence! That's the king, you fool! Vision six. Admittedly, I fail to understand why you would do something so asinine. But since you did repair the artifact, I suppose it's only fair this transgression be forgiven. <laughs> now be gone from my oh, sight. Father, oh. if I may, uh, before he departs, I'd like to personally take this man into my service. But why? Highness, it's dangerous to put your trust in someone you know nothing about. Mm. We simply cannot afford to lose their strength or wisdom. Hmm? Father, will you allow it? Oh, well, I, uh... If you think it's a good idea, Tillis, you know I trust you, dear. See that? It appears as though Princess Tillis is the one who's actually running this kingdom. The king is a loser who lets his daughter steamroll him. Silence! Copy that. So we just brown nose her then? Piece of cake. Shut up! Mm. Now, <laughs> since I have Father's express permission, you'll be working directly for me. How's that sound? <laughs> Well, I can't turn down a request from a princess. I'm not just going along with all this because you're a total smoke show, you understand? You're a bad actor and a creep. <laughs> <laughs> Your Highness, please reconsider. After they desecrated our precious artifact, I'm beginning to think these two might be spies. So that would also mean that you're a traitor who let a couple of spies infiltrate the kingdom. Me a traitor? That's just ridiculous. Everyone knows there's no one more loyal to Princess Tillis than me, and I would never dream of betraying her. <laughs> If I must, I'll take my burning blade flame zapper and strike you down right here! In case you missed it, I work for the princess now too, so... I don't think she'll appreciate you killing me, do you? <laughs> Did you forget? There was something else you said you'd be doing, if I'm not mistaken. And what was that exactly? <laughs> I'll take full, full responsibility. responsibility! That's what you said, right? Which means... <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha now! <laughs> you fiend! <laughs> Seems to be only old men and young women. Sadly, we lost most of the young men in our war with the demons. So, um, Alice, are you really joining Six's unit? I'm high spec, which means I can do anything. So whatever you'd have a strategist and a medic do, I'll handle them both. <sighs> well, in any case, here are the applicants' forms, which I guess you're free to look over. You guess? You're new. You didn't even know we were at war earlier today, so... I can take care of assembling our team. Gather round! If we call your name, that means you're on the unit! Hey, Six, got any input? Just that I'm digging this war god Alexandrite Gleam Nail guy. That's a baller name. No, that geezer's over 80. Input on these two specifically. They uh, both got much higher kill counts than anyone else on the list. Okay, we're only gonna call two of you. First is... <gasps> what now? Listen, I want you to add these two to the roster. Got it? Uh, who are you talking about? Just call out these names like I asked. Uh, hey, Rose! I am known as Rose. Yes. The Artificial Combat Chimera Rose. Ask yourself, are you truly man enough to handle me? I am the one who's known as Agent Six. Yes, a cybernetic fighting machine perfected through modifications at the cost of his past and true name. Welcome to the team, Artificial Combat Chimera Rose. And I am known as Alice Kisaragi, an android with the capacity to deal with even the cringiest nutbags like you. So don't worry. Oh, uh, thanks for that. So, yeah, when my grandpa made me, he told me I should introduce myself that way. Uh, and those were his very last words. Says here if you eat something, you can absorb its special powers? Yeah, that's right! I gotta eat a lot of meat for it to really work, but whenever I eat a demon beast, I take on whatever ability they had. Oh, cool. Lately, I've had the chance to munch on some pretty strong demon beasts, like fire-spinning flame-burst lizards and a few one-horned ogres. That's the reason I've got this tail and tiny horn right now. Everyone's favorite nutritionally balanced prepackaged meal, Calorie C. Now, I'm probably willing to consider sharing it with you, but you have to do whatever I say, you hear me? Seriously? Okay, so that's how we're gonna proceed with her. Next is Grim. Come up here. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Grim. 
So, Mr. Commander, sir, let me ask you the most burning question. Go on. If you're single, of course. You married? Have a girlfriend? I am currently single, by the way. I know it's hard to believe, but for some reason I can't find a man. I'm single now, too. Although I am the perfect, handsome, and sweet package, nobody snatched this thing up yet. Well, isn't that a coincidence? What are you two talking about? Absolutely no fraternizing, you understand? Yeah, yeah. So, it says here you're some kind of witch? Uh, why are you staring at me like that? Technically speaking, no. I'm not a witch, per se. I'm something more like a conduit for the great Zenerit's power. I can perform miracles on his behalf. Hmm. You're gonna have to fill me in on this Zenerith. The god of undeath and disaster, who I serve. Sounds gnarly. So he's evil? <laughs> you should be cursed for your rudeness! <laughs> Tell me, boy. You want to see what's going on under Miss Grimm's skirt, don't you? All you gotta do is beg forgiveness and repent for your blasphemy against Lord Senorith, then I'll baptize you in the name of... You are the evil lights! Wow, so you got a little naughty side, don't you? I wasn't gonna let you take a peek at my maidenhood! Hey, you'll take responsibility, won't you? You'd better put a ring on and make me your wife! Because after what you've seen, I can't just let you go! Uh-oh, we got a clinger. What? Oh, you'd better slow your roll there, Lady Buttfloss. Who call me that? It's all because I read an article in Pioco Club that said wearing this... <sighs> I should have known you'd pick the biggest headaches. I'll do what I can with this team, but we won't be together long. I need to take command. We'll win quickly if I'm in charge. Since Princess Tillis trusts me, I'll get my rank back. And we can all just go on with our lives without each other. I'm the one calling the shots, moron. <sighs> you just got demoted. Did you forget that already? That is not true! And plus, taking orders from a stupid man in an evil-looking outfit and a nasty gleam in his eyes would be a blow to my honor! Uh, say what? Am I wrong? You strike me as having no education. Well, I, on the other hand, graduated from the kingdom's finest university. <laughs> I never even finished high school. Promise that you'll follow my orders to the letter. And you won't just embarrass yourself out on the battlefield. <laughs> oh, resorting to violence? Go on. If you really have the stones to hit me, then do your worst, okay? Don't let the fact that I'm a woman be your excuse. Yeah, worst coming at ya! <laughs> Now don't go crazy! I'll kill you! 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 Is something the matter, Snow? Uh, Tillis. So, gonna act like a homicidal maniac around the princess. You'd better watch her six, six. I knew grabbing her grapes would piss her off, but I didn't think she'd really try to murder me. Agent Six! Why would you behave so crassly? Snow is a very serious woman. She began life as an orphan in the slums and became a knight in the royal guard through hard work and determination. Yeah, I figured she was just some rich guy's daughter. Anyway, what brings you out here today? <laughs> Actually, it's concerning your sleeping arrangements. Meh, this is fine. Besides, it's probably better for coordinating our mission if we're in the same room. Look, don't get any weird ideas just because I'm a pretty girl. I don't even have reproductive organs, so you'd be out of luck. You're a little kid robot, so ew. It doesn't appear to be electric. Their tech may be more advanced than I first thought. Between this and the artifacts, we have our work cut out for us. Hey, it'll all be fine, won't it? If we can pull out a big win right off the bat, maybe we'll get a sweet hideout as a reward. Well, I am somewhat relieved and surprised you remember our original mission. Although, you shouldn't take the situation too lightly. It's so bright. Can't we just blow it up and be done with it? Hmm. They're walking straight into the enemy like lemmings. Do you have a toddler in charge of your military strategy or what? Facing powerful enemies head on is how you achieve glory. I don't quite understand what we're even doing up here. We're gonna crush their supply line. But that's the coward's way. Supply units are all lower-ranking demons. Defeating them won't bring you any glory. It's like this, Snow. We're up against a powerful demon lord and his army. If we cut their supplies, they'll have to retreat. Losing this small single unit could effectively cripple the enemy. I understand your logic, but still. Just swallow your pride and listen to the kid, would you? Commander! I want to fight strong enemies, too. 
My grandpa's dying wish was that I eat every last demon in the world, and then I can become the ultimate chimera! <sighs> Your grandpa's dying wish. I'd really love to help you honor that, okay? Oh, let me eat all of them, because I know this fresh meat will be so yummy for my tummy. But playing a game of Hungry Hungry Chimera might be a good deed, so... Rose, you can do what you want with their provisions. Let's end their lives and eat all their food! Hold on. I think we should hit their base camp. To be honest, I kind of need to max out on glory. Because this demotion decimated my salary. And if I can't afford to keep up with the payments on my beloved flames ever sword, it's gonna get rebound. <laughs> Agent Six can help you with your glory. <laughs> He's a master of inflating his accomplishments. I can tell just by looking at him. You want my hands to slip again? <laughs> written in the Kisaragi Corporation's combat manual word for word. Combat manual? What are you talking about? Hey, listen. <laughs> Grab whatever crap you want out of there and burn the rest, would you? Just go hog wild, okay? Well, you're the best commander! Let's strike fear into the hearts of the Demon Lord's army or wherever they feel that stuff. Sink into my endless sea of crimson and sleep forever. Crimson breath! <laughs> You do you, I guess, but I draw the line at eating things that can talk. Hmm? What the? A griffin! Well, well, what do we have here? You with that ridiculous armor. Am I correct to assume you're in charge? <coughs> Tell me, what are you doing? Your look and your vibe are so fierce. I see. You're a leader-class demon. Indeed. I am Heina of the Flame, one of the Demon Lord's elite That's four. Cool. So you're saying you can sense my power? Not bad for a human. That was a ruthless attack on our supply convoy. I don't imagine you have a trace of chivalry. Striking you down seems like a real shame to me. So if you leave behind the supplies, I'll let you live. What do you think about calling it a day here, Alice? Because I'm not so sure we can handle this mutant babe. And now I'm beginning to understand the reason why you never got promoted. <laughs> There's a place in the Demon Lord's army for a guy who doesn't beat around the bush. I could put you in charge of the other humans that are working for us. As a bonus, you can make any woman your slave. Sign me up! What are you doing? <laughs> You'd stoop so low as joining them? I can't believe you just give up my dinner like that! <sighs> Sorry, lady, but I've already got a scary boss who's into skanky cosplay. No surprise. I had a feeling. I could tell you're the type who likes to talk a big game, but still pitifully loyal. You mind telling me what your name is? I'm Combat Agent Six. You can call me Six, oh Heine of the Flame and the Elite Four. <sighs> yeah, okay then, Six. Here we go. I'm Heine of the Flame, one of the Demon Lord's Elite Four. Now taste my power, you scum! Go on ahead, but you're outnumbered. Snow, Rose, let's rumble. No way. Huh? My flame zapper is the wrong element to fight her. I'll set fire to the enemy supplies, though. You keep her busy, okay? I guess I'll just burn up all the stuff that I was going to take back home. Ugh. Alice! I'll be providing support. Hey, Grim! <sighs> what the f- <laughs> Don't worry. I'll do my best not to kill you. Although, <laughs> if you're not careful, you'll get fried! <laughs> You guys, not yet. Get down, six. Whoa. Yeah, these are anti mega beast rounds. They sure have a lot of recoil, huh? Is that kid human? I can't tell. Smells like a golem, and that strange weapon. 
Who or what might you be? <sighs> There's another mutant? This is rough. Ugh, I'm up. When I miss you guys. <sighs> see that ugly club demon again. You do realize something like that wouldn't really kill Grimm, don't you? Huh? You can probably tell, but Rose has demon blood in her. And because of that, people feared her and treated her like garbage. Made her take on enemy units alone, things like that. Well, that does explain why her kill count was so high. Kinda crazy. It seems like this place has so many scumbags running around, I don't look so bad, at least in comparison. That's right. There are a lot of scumbags out there. You've got some stiff competition. And Grimm was treated poorly as well. They see her as expendable in a different way. Since she's an archpriest of Zenareth, she'll come back to life no matter how many times she dies. Looks like they got spanked hard out there. <laughs> now the top brass are gonna owe us big time! Come on, Snow! Yeah, I know. First, we'll take her to the temple. So this is really gonna bring her back to life, or what? Yeah, all we do is put her on the altar with an offering, and Zenareth will take it from there. She'll probably be back to life before nightfall. And by offering, you mean that crap around her? With Zenareth's offerings, it's more about someone's attachment to the object, and not the monetary value. This'll be enough. I'm gonna head to my room and catch that knife documentary. I think I'll go and give this thing a good cleaning. What about you, Six? Uh, me? I'm gonna hang around here and check it out. should wait for you to undie. How come? It's so you can punish me because I died without using my powers, really doing anything at all. No, no. I just thought it would suck to die and have no one show up when you came back to life. You're a strange one, Commander. Huh? Nobody's ever been this nice to me. Most normal people think I'm kind of creepy. That's like the only bit of praise I've gotten from anyone since I came to this crazy place. Well, I think you deserve it. What's more, Commander? 
if I may be so forward, would you like to go on a date with me? Mm -hmm. Yahoo! Wow, Commander, this new wheelchair is amazing! I'm afraid it may have spoiled the old one for me! <laughs> they might be evil, but Kisaragi's got cool toys! Now you're the fastest girl in the land! You may have noticed, but Rose and I are different from the other troops, so we get sent on all the riskiest missions in order to get rid of us. It's fine, I suppose, because we're the hardest to kill, so we always come back. But if you want my opinion, you and Alice should quit the army and leave the kingdom entirely. What? I'm not going anywhere. This unit's just me and a bunch of chicks. I've got my own little harem sitch going on. You couldn't make me quit if you tried. <laughs> In that case, we're glad to have you with us, Commander. I'm sorry I worried you. I'm just so happy that you're finally back. <laughs> Move, losers! <laughs> because you were hit with a failed curse that made your legs not work anymore or something. In a way, this awful curse now prevents me from ever wearing shoes. Huh? Wow, your power is kind of pathetic. Is that so? Then I'll simply have to demonstrate what real power looks like. Lord Senerith, bring your curse upon this girl who claims to have a boyfriend. Feel the kind of pain you feel when you stub your toe on the dresser! <laughs> Hey, you're gonna lose your balance if you keep that. Yeah. What? The Demon Lord's army has fallen back? But they had the advantage. Those demons are cunning. Are you sure it's not a trick? According to our watchmen, the invading army began to withdraw shortly after nightfall. That doesn't make any sense to me. Their primary goal is to capture our territory. Why would they fall back without accomplishing their objective? <laughs> If you'd like to thank me personally, now's a perfect time. Hold your tongue before the king, you crumb hmm? Who's this goober? Mm -hmm. You don't know the face of the army's chief of staff? Nah. Insubordinate cur. Well, if you came here to talk to Princess Tillis, you'll have to wait. Don't forget your position. You merely command women and children with lowly blood. Well, guess what? I just commanded those women and children to destroy the Demon Lord's supplies, Gramps. Huh? You would boast of such a cowardly strategy. I'd prefer to call it a winning strategy. They're dead meat without food and water. They could still try to muscle through an attack, but that'd be pretty freaking risky. <laughs> the name's Agent Six, AKA the guy you owe big time. Got it, Peepaw? <sighs> Cause I'm the only one here who's not a moron. Hmm. <laughs> Your unconventional approach is what saved us, Agent Six. You've performed wonderfully. Hmm. And as the legend foretold, now we simply wait for the Chosen One to save us. The what now? Yes. The ancient legends have told us there will be a great darkness, and when the Demon Lord's shadow looms over all mankind, a crest will appear on the hand of the Chosen One as their power manifests. They will cleave through the darkness, and after many trials, defeat the Demon Lord. <laughs> Well, it looks like you've got your chosen one right here. <gasps> Agent Six. Wow, unbelievable. Yep. I spotted this baby when I first woke up today. I guess this means that I'm the chosen one. That's Spuckle Gavicula. Uh, say what now? I said that's Spuckle Gavicula. What a crazy sounding word. It's the name of a deadly insect whose poison kills instantly. Seriously? <laughs> Wait, how am I still alive? Well... I guess the shot works. I mean, I'll be fine, because I'm incredibly tough. Anywho, like I was saying, chosen one. Actually, the crest has already appeared. It's on my brother's hand, and he's the prince of the kingdom, so... Uh... Hello! Please, you gotta help me, Commander! Alice has been torturing me! 
Basics. How did your meeting go? Eh, I got to yell at an old man today. I think I made their chief strategist cry. Nice. So, what's going on here with you two? It's simple. She absorbs genetic information and takes on the attributes of what she eats. I want to try something. She needs to consume this grasshopper and see if it makes her virtually invincible. <laughs> You got it. How could you? Oh, my trust is gone. Grandpa was right all along. Humanity is a disease that must be wiped out. You're oh, sick. stop whining. Grasshoppers are amazing. Just let us have this one. Back home, making grasshopper mutants was super taboo in our organization. Now say, ah. Uh, and I'll tell you what. If you eat all of it, I'll give you something really special, okay? No way. Um, but what do you mean by special? Special because it's yummy? I'm willing to negotiate if there's something good to eat on the table. It's called silicone. I'm curious to see if eating it will enlarge your chest. An interesting theory. Maybe it'll give her huge booby traps. I don't need that, okay? It's not the kind of power up I'm looking for. So get that stuff out of my face or I'll crimson breath ya. You're like a little ball of dynamite, Rose. So why do you let the army push you around? Seems like you could get something else that pays more. I want to find out who I really am. I was discovered inside of an old ruin. I was asleep surrounded by artifacts, supposedly. Supposedly? That's what they told me, but I don't remember it. I've got some memories of the old man that made me, but that's really all. He was always researching a particular stone, one that he called the Stone of Miracles. He told me it could do anything, but one day, he tried performing some kind of forbidden magic, and it killed him. So I'm committed to honoring his dying wish and making his life's dream come true. But I don't know anything about his research or barely even anything about myself. They promised me that if I worked for them, they'd share the research they've got on the ruins where I was found. Man, this country shit has galore. Listen, we should have Rose work for us. I bet she could already pass for one of our mutants. All we have to do is get her in the right mindset, and she would make an excellent combat agent. <laughs> hey, Rose. So what do you think about officially becoming one of us, huh? Oh, wait. Are you trying to tell me that I'm not already part of the unit or what? <laughs> Since you're still practically a child, you'll need the proper ideological education. From now on, it'd be beneficial if you were to think of me as your mother. I don't want to know what you teach me, plus I'm older than you. Uh, why are you putting this badge on me? Because now you're an apprentice agent! And an apprentice agent has to do what I say. Hey, wait a sec. What are you guys planning? And why are you being so weird? Where'd you go? go? Uh, what are you guys doing with your hands? I've got a bad feeling about this commander, and I'm not going to eat the grasshopper or the silly cup. Uh, I hear it. Everyone's clapping because they're happy for me. I'm finally getting married, you guys. I'm not a big loser anymore. <laughs> It's strange. What is? Are you talking about the situation with the Demon Lord's army? No. It's something a whole lot bigger than that. You know, Alice, we've been in this alien civilization for a while now, yeah? Mm -hmm. What I don't understand is why the hell isn't anybody falling in love with me? Huh? I'm like the hero of this entire country, and my unit is packed to the gills with women. Plus, I've had run-ins with high-caliber mega babes like Tillis and Heine. I mean, even that police chick was kind of hot. It's just crazy. All of that's in play, but not a single fan service event. I haven't run into a shorty in the hallway and accidentally pet her sweater kittens. I haven't bumped into a hottie around the corner and gotten a peek in her undercarriage. I literally spend hours every day crouching in the corner, and absolutely nothing has happened. Yeah, they told me to tell you to stop doing that, by the way. <sighs> Unfortunately, I have bad news about the Chosen One's party. 
They bravely fought two demons atop Duster Tower, the clever Rista of knowledge and the mighty Gil of power, but were beaten off. <laughs> there is some good news to be found in all this. The Chosen One's wounds were not fatal. However, it is imperative that we act quickly. Thanks to Agent Six's unorthodox strategy, the enemy did pull out, but we're well aware that they will be back. To be completely candid, they're much stronger than us. If this war drags on, they'll wipe us off the map before the Chosen One can defeat the Demon Lord. Now, according to the Chosen One, that tower holds a treasure, something that will be absolutely crucial in our ultimate goal of defeating the Demon Lord. But we can't rest on our laurels and simply wait for him to recover. We must move forward, lay siege to Duster Tower, and claim the treasure for ourselves. Hold on, General. So, do you have a strategy to ensure that we'll collect the treasure inside without the Chosen One's help? How can we avoid his failure? Well, as you can see, the tower is a hollow structure with a lone spiral staircase twisting along its walls. So then... We'll have to funnel our main battalion into a single file line going up the staircase. That's unless, of course, you've a better strategy. <laughs> hmm. I know. Perhaps Agent Six has a plan in mind. He is the architect of our current advantage. No doubt he has some brilliant plan as he was so quick to belittle us for our missteps. <laughs> what do you advise we do, Agent Six? Set the thing on fire. Are you being serious? The tower's made of stone. We can't just burn it down. Listen, this tower is a big hollow thing, right? So we just take the first floor, and then we set a massive bonfire. We'll roast them like the Wheaties they are! <laughs> I mean, it sounds effective. What do you all think? I... Can a Knight of the Crown behave in such a way? <laughs> no, that's it. Although I can see the plan's merits, it goes against our values. Therefore, we'll attack Duster Tower in force tomorrow morning. Ignore the racket, y'all. We're just gonna sit here and chill until it starts getting dark. Huh? What's wrong with you? Are you suggesting we sit this one out? The Chosen One missed his chance to defeat the demons at the top of that thing. Rista of Knowledge and Gil of Power are still up there. So if we can beat them, imagine the glory and riches we'll reap from our win. Tell me something. The Chosen One's pretty tough, yeah? Yes, extremely. Strong enough to take on the Elite Four. And the guys that whooped him. You want to climb all those stairs to fight him? F that noise, hard pass. If they're still up there by the time evening rolls around and Grim's nap is over, we'll figure out some kind of plan. You just sit there while they... I thought that at least in battle you could be counted on just a little bit. But you're a coward. I'll go there myself. And don't you even think about stealing my glory, you hear me? Hey, uh, Snow's leaving? Is she gonna be okay all by herself? I'm sure she'll be just fine. She knows her way around a fight. She'll get tired eventually and head back. these crazy moans in her sleep? Her dream life must be freaking wild. Oh, yeah. Lady Snow. How can you behave that way with the commander? Be careful telling a dirty brute of a man like that you'll do anything you want. But let me stay and watch. <laughs> and if you don't stop this and wake up right now, you will never wake up again! Oh, I was having the most wonderful prophetic dream. You know, eternal slumber might be the solution. Come on, not right after we just got her up. What do you say, Alice? We good? It gonna work? Yes, it'll work. Now take off your heavy armor. What for? Exactly what kind of scheme do you have in mind? The kind that gets us straight to the top, baby. How far did you get before? About halfway, I think. It was hard to tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This'll do it. Here you go, Agent Six. That tool, what does it do? Wait, don't tell me. <laughs> right, let's rock. Those royal dum dum. 
Adams really thought going from the inside would work? Come on. With all that noise in there, they totally won't even notice us. <laughs> um, hey, Six, this just does not feel right. I don't think this will bring us glory. You're way too relaxed. Hey, falling from here would be bad, so be careful. I will, sir. I'll be careful. Although, in a perfect scenario, you'd take position below me. This wind's taking my skirt for a ride. You actually do come alive at night, so we'll call you Count Thongula. <gasps> Don't you dare call me that! Um, Agent Six? I told you to go before we left. Not that, but there is a bit of a problem. The battle was fierce. I swung my sword an awful lot. Starting to run out of strength. I'm stuck. My arms won't stop shaking. For real? If you fall, you'll break your stupid neck. And you seem like the type to flail around and take the others down with you. Uh, yeah, I need some help. I can't hang on for much longer. <laughs> Thank you, but now what? We'll go up like this. Sure. Hey, hold on to me tighter so there's less wind resistance. Yeah, okay. Like this? This is the kind of event I was talking about! Thank you so much! <sighs> what? Not the time to be sleazy! But I guess you never stop being a scumbag! Shut up! You've got some real weapons-grade tactical tatas! You should be thankful that somebody appreciates you them! You really crossed the line! Prepare to pay the price! Hey, what was that about your arms being tired? Stop messing around and get moving! We're almost to the top, aren't we? <laughs> They're not taking this seriously. Ha <laughs> ha! So, let the fools be fools. Without their precious chosen one, they don't have a chance in hell of getting up here! <laughs> yeah, we did beat that chosen one. I bet the Demon Lord will promote us soon! Toots. He's probably just waiting for the right opportunity to come along. Maybe he'll create a new rank for us! Yeah, something way better than the Elite Four. Because we're obviously stronger than them. Six, you know we're not climbing anymore. Oh, it'll be great! Once we wipe out those pesky flies down there, you and I are gonna be mega famous, bro! Hell yeah, bro! Got that right! Soon the whole world's gonna know about us! Kill of strength and rest of knowledge we Check! Uh, Vista? No! Please, help me! Hang on! I'll be right there! Hey! Who the hell are you? <sighs> Didn't quite work, huh? Alice! I could just shoot him down, but why waste valuable ammunition like that? If we throw rocks at him instead, he's bound to fall eventually. Excellent point. What? No! Don't you dare! I won't let you hurt Vista! I will protect my brother until the bitter end! Uh, well, this is awkward. Hey, Agent Six, this whole thing's getting kind of icky. I'm starting to feel sorry for these guys. Too late. Now grab a rock, ladies! Uh, okay. If that bullheaded bozo attacks us, just start pelting Goat Boy down there like it's going out of style. Nicely done. Practically the perfect strategy for a Kisaragi employee. And with the added touch of saying it so the enemy can hear, you're effectively shutting down their only means of counterattack. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I wonder what'll happen to your quote-unquote brother if you take another step. All right, girls, let's show them that we got the stones to handle them. Uh. <laughs> you damn it, no! <laughs> you are an evil point. You good? Nope. He's really had better days. Still alive, though. Y you coward! You'll pay for this! I'll skin you all alive! Slow down. I know you're in your feelings, but in case you didn't hear me, I said... Homeboy is still alive. Ugh. He is barely hanging on, though. So, if you want him to pull through, you'd better get him some care. Like now, he might actually survive. That said, got a question for you. How much? How much coin are you willing to fork over for this guy? You earned evil points! Hey, Six, are you in there? 
If you're looking for the noble and kind-hearted Agent Six, he went to clean trash up by the river. Come on, don't be stupid. So, what do you want? Coming to a man's room at night? There's a booty call, Boobzilla? Don't you dare start calling me that! That is definitely not the kind of nickname I want getting around. Hey, Boobzilla? Uh. Should I leave so you two can have your fun? I'm positive I don't want to see it. Please, Alice, not you two. Mm. Mm. So, what's this? Your pay, including your bonus for the wins of the past couple of missions. I don't approve of your methods or ideology. Avoiding battle, attacking convoys, kicking a foe off a ledge while his back's turned. <sighs> Making a deal with demons? That is completely unacceptable. We got the treasure without more casualties, but on principle, I... Um, you're unusually quiet. Yeah. Hey, Snow. It's a good bit of gold. Exactly how much is this worth in this country? Your brain damage make you forget the value of gold? I'd say a family could live the high life for at least a year off of that bag alone. Really? You don't think it's enough, huh? I hear you. I'm pretty particular when it comes to my money as well. Alice, I think I'm out of the spy game. I'm going full uh, native and dying that? rich here. Blah, blah, blah. Oh no, they're talking about me, aren't they? Uh, no, don't be hasty! You said that in our language, so I know you're serious. Listen, I spent an entire month sweating my ass off fighting in the damn Sahara Desert. And when I got back, not only did I not get a word of thanks, they sent me on meaningless errands instead. And my take-home pay would barely cover a few weeks' rent and food. To be completely honest, I've always been a little bit confused why you didn't quit sooner. That's enough, you two. You know I can't understand a single word you say. Not to worry. When Six gets worked up, he just slips into his old language. Apparently, he didn't expect this much money. Oh, okay. I get it now. And this is for you. Yeah? Wow. Thank you. I haven't gotten a present since I was gifted my beautiful shotgun. Well, that wasn't really a present, but sure. <sighs> you really called me in at the crack of dawn on my day off? Six, being rude to the general won't help anyone. It's fine, but this is an emergency. The treasure acquired in Duster Tower has cleared the way for the Chosen One. His party can move forward and engage the Demon Lord in battle. However, there's trouble. Heine of the Flame is attacking our Vanguard Squadron. The enemy is getting desperate. So we'll be asking your unit to handle their top leaders. Take them out, starting with the Elite Four. With pleasure, sir. Hey, pump the brakes there, would you? You're not seriously considering refusing the request? This mission is a huge honor! And if we pull it off, we'd practically be swimming in gold. I don't know. Please, Sir Six, the success of this mission is of the utmost importance and therefore can only be entrusted to a national hero like you. I implore you accept for the good of all the people of Grace. Ah, so you're the one who decided we should do this uber-important last-minute dangerous gig. Yes. As you heard, the Chief of Staff thinks rather highly of you and your unit. Hmm. Listen! Let me remind you that failure is not an option! We're here to win, and nothing less! Will do! Crip, wake so, Alice, what's your take on the sitch? By that you mean... my thoughts on the suicide mission they forced on us? Bingo. I'm guessing the guy doesn't like me because I made him look like a total dumbass in front of the other generals or whatever. You get killed again! That's what happened. I think it would give him enough motivation to hate you, Agent Six. But remember, this whole squad is full of misfits. Personal business aside, if Heine shows up, we pretend to fight and then pull back. I'm having some maintenance done on the shotgun, so I'm unarmed. Yeah, okay. Uh, just get her back in a wheelchair. Upsy Daisy. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, just some girl talk, you know. That's all. Hmm. Anyway, here's the deal. We won't actually do any fighting today. You got that? Uh... What do you mean we're not fighting? This is a special mission given to us by the upper echelon! I know, but I can't freaking stand that bald one-eyed guy. He just comes off like a petty, sneaky, small-time villain. Someone who only cares about his own survival. Is that so? Because I think you just described yourself. Agent Six, you have heard of a mirror, haven't you? Commander, or have you heard of a boomerang? <laughs> Real nice. You hags are just as hateable as he is. Lame. <laughs> What the hell is 
that? So they brought along a golem? A stone creature powered by magic. It's quite fascinating. Magic can do many things. Hmm? Look at them. They're splitting up their forces. Hey, uh, our unit is supposed to concentrate on fighting Hyena, isn't that right? Racer Six, you can leave the High Orcs to me and my squadron! My squad and I will gladly take down all the powerful ogres! Uh, wait a sec, I... Not to worry, sir! They're tough, but our troops are tougher! Go! Damn it! Hey, Snow, did you wake Grim up or what? <laughs> we'll get her to put a super gnarly curse on Hyena! Yeah, somebody else can get her out of Dreamland. I just took out a three-year loan to pay for the beautiful Glacial Blade Iceberg, and I'm ready to break it in! It's perfect to slay Hyna! <laughs> like a mouse to cheese. Um, Commander Six, uh, sir, can I please go and take a bite out of that griffin? I've always wanted to fly, and I think a nibble on him might do the trick! Thank you, sir, I'm gonna go to uh, Suppose I'll handle Grimm's wake-up duty, Agent Six. Which means... That golem... He's all yours. Very cool. My name is Snow, Hina of the Flame. Prepare to be slain by my glacial blade, Iceberg! Good luck, Snow. You'll be needing it. For you're facing Hina of the Flame, one of the Demon Lords Elite Four! <laughs> That's what matters. I can't move for a few minutes, by the way. 
So, if you can keep me from getting killed in that time, that'd be great. Hey, boss. Listen. When this big battle is over, I really want to eat some yummy food. I just about died for some yummy alcohol. Fine, damn it! Protect me now and I'll buy later. You can regret it, though, Grim. Hello, Six. So, we meet again. But I prefer we don't leave things hanging this time around. Wait, Heine, I got a little question for you. I gotta figure out how to buy some time. And that is... What did they feed you to grow a pair of phenomenal fun bags like that? <laughs> happy to come across someone who can handle my flames. That crazed woman was a total disappointment. But you seem like you'll be fun. Crazed woman? She must be talking about snow, right? <laughs> I've just got this special blade of 2008! I need you to pull out that weird ranged weapon you've got and take brutal vengeance for my precious ice Just sit it down, will ya? <laughs> I can't really move right now. <laughs> it seems as though this man six is frozen. I'll go easy on you and put you out of your misery with a single blow. Hey! That's almost exactly one of the absolute no-no lines with the big book of bad guy dialogue. Someone has to come save us now. Bad news, Commander! We won't be able to block them! We have to go right now! Great Lord Venereth, I beseech you bring disaster upon her! And paralyze her now! What's happening? Is it some kind of curse? Cooldown is now complete. <laughs> Whoa there, Grim. It's kind of hard to believe, but I guess you may actually be useful after all, huh? Um, hold on just one second. Does that mean you thought I wasn't useful? Those three minutes felt like forever. Well, this is bad. My main objective for today was testing the golem's battle functionality. Things tend to go south when you're around, huh? Hey, tell me, Six. Are you sure you don't want to come to our side? We'll pay you three times what you're getting now. <coughs> oh, and you've heard of a succubus, right? Stand straight! Get off your knees, Agent Six! You can't let the enemy beat you like that! Draw your gun! Get a hold of yourself, <laughs> sir! Oh, it wore off. Now, brave Six. I'll take you there, to succubi with insatiable appetites. Lilim with unripe bodies who want you to spoil them. Vampires with an otherworldly beauty. Sirens who will whisper sweet, sexy sounds in your ear. Alice, I'm sorry, but I'm too weak for this. <laughs> your response that it's something very important. No, it's just, uh... That's magicite. <gasps> magicite, you say? Yes. It's a special kind of conduit that wizards use to harness their magic. I feel incredible power coming from it. Yes. Oh, it's obviously had magic concentrated into it over many years. So if Heine were to lose the thing, then what? Well, theoretically, she could use another one. But it likely won't give her enough power to be one of the Elite Four. <laughs> Just like that. Boom! You are an evil point. That's the stuff. Good job, Six. Just keep up racking up those points. Part the knees, pop out the dumper. Little more. Flex them calves. Knees further apart. You are an evil point. Oh, she's twitching. I saw her twitching. Amazing. But why the heck is he doing all this? Because I'm pretty sure it's in his disgusting and vile nature, and he has no choice. Yes! Booyah! Whoa there! Give me that. Awesome. <laughs> Quite an ingenious strategy, Six! Subjecting a powerful foe to shame after giving her a good hard beating! Yeah, right. This is for desecrating Iceberg! <laughs> I know she's the enemy, but I'm starting to kind of feel bad for her now. Maybe it's time for you to give her back her stone? Hey, Alice, I don't remember saying I was gonna give it back to her. No, you never said that. <gasps> Apparently, she just assumed you would and went straight into the humiliation. You would make me do this and not give it back? I'll kill you and I'll take my time! 
I'm doing it! Yeah? But what can you actually do without your widow magic thingy? You're stuck, aren't you? <laughs> Come on, show me what you got! No, never mind. Tell you what, if you really want it back... Yeah, just tell me what I need to do! Please, Six, it's important to me! Here we go! <laughs> oh, no. Six, I... What are you doing? Family jewels, huh? It's right here! How bad do you want it? <laughs> Don't you? No, I... Jog my memory. 
If I recall correctly, you said before this interloper six is an enemy spy, yes? No, it turns out I was wrong about that. Since you're so clever, I have a request. I need you to discover some proof that Six is, in fact, a spy, regardless if he truly is. I know. I can't freaking stand that bald one-eyed guy. <sighs> Take him this bonus. It'll provide you with an excuse to go and pay him a visit. He just comes off like a petty, sneaky, small-time villain. Someone who only cares about his own survival. says, I would like you to marry my daughter Tillis and rule this land with her. And the chicks in our unit might say, Oh, Six, I'm like so hot for you. Then we'd have a real problem on our hands. I can predict a wide range of occurrences. And I had thought that nothing was beyond my understanding, but it seems I was wrong. I don't follow you, but you're one smart cookie. A good kid. <laughs> but you know... If I married Old Snow, that would be, shall we say, stimulating for different reasons. By the way, I need to try to move up the Kisaragi ladder, too. Which means you and I gotta get back to that spy mission. Maybe we can parlay our reward into a hideout, huh? Hey, don't talk about that in their language. No. <laughs> Like we've never seen before. 
That's what you call karma. You see what happens? I knew you'd regret kicking out your boy the six like that. Yeah, yeah, I realize she overheard me say I'm a spy or whatever, but she could have at least let me explain myself. Most places wouldn't hesitate to execute a spy. Right? Letting you just walk away was actually a big deal. I think that was most likely her way of paying you back. <clears throat> Well, don't look at me. I'm not gonna go save her. I'm a bad guy. Yes, but still. I don't like the idea of somebody else wreaking havoc on the place we're going to invade. I bet you feel the same way, don't you? <clears throat> I'm gonna show you an incredible magic trick, so get ready to be amazed. I can make my zipper come down without so much as touching it. You see that? You're not scared of a little fun with magic, are you? You earned evil points. Girl like her out all alone at night needs to be more careful. Who knows what kind of sicko you may run into. Although I am fond of the number six, how about... Oop. We go for seven! Whoa! Get a load of me! Come on, don't so shy, gaze into the zipper and behold the wonders lurking deep within its lair. You violate me! No, no, I won't do that, so don't worry. But you'd better run real quick, because it is coming down. I mean my zipper, of course! I'm not falling for that! I knew that the second I let down my guard, you're just gonna drag me off into some dark alley and have your parvy little hands all over me! Oh no! I must have sprained my ankle when I tripped! And now I can't run! I never saw you trip, though. You fiend! You're lying! There's no way that you could resist touching a beautiful girl like me! So I'm begging you to please just stay away! Hey, listen, I, uh... uh what? Where in the hell are my damn evil points? Oh, I see. You're just trying to toy with me! <coughs> just look at me and what I'm doing and get appropriately extremely creeped out! No! I don't want to look at you! Look! 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 <coughs> to show me what you've got. You want a ticket to see the snake show? Then check this out. I Anaconda! Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Go on. What exactly am I supposed to see? I'm so sorry, ma'am. Well, I'm quite aware that you're a fool, a pervert, and a complete failure as a human who's beyond any hope of salvation. But I cannot fathom what's going on here. <laughs> I just... Listen, I'm getting ready for the Demon Lord's next big invasion. I don't appreciate being treated like I'm as stupid as you look, you hear me? I swear, I'm not just blowing smoke. I, like, for real need to do this. Do you really want me to regret regretting what? telling you to go away earlier? So, uh, what made you decide to quit being our commander anyway? <clears throat> you mean you hadn't heard anything? I did ask Snow, but she would never say a word. She wouldn't stop coming on to me, and I couldn't stand being treated like a piece of meat anymore. I think that's all the folks in the castle need to know about the matter. <laughs> Don't spread lies about me! <sighs> Look, talking with you makes me feel stupider by the second. I'll let you go this time, but there will not be a next time, understand? But Snow... I heard the Demon Lord's army is coming. <sighs> If you need help from a specimen of manliness like me, you just gotta suck it up and say, I'm sorry I was so crappy to you. <laughs> the last thing I need is your help. I made it very clear you'd better not let me see you again. So what in the hell are you doing here, jackass? I told you what I was doing, Snow for Brains. Learn to listen, you, you big guys have dummy. You out right now, or I'm gonna fight you. So this and this. Of course. Grilled lizard and the barbecued rat loin. That's gonna run you six bronze, please. Here. Ah! <laughs> it's fine. But I seriously thought that you were going down to reach for your zipper, so sorry. Yeah, that's him! Zipper man! Oh, no, zipper man! Get down that zipper and show us your heart! You stupid kid! <laughs> I'll take down your pants and then everyone can laugh at your dumb asses! <laughs> That guy? Uh, he's Zipper Man. You think he's gonna give us a show or what? That's the sex test! Alice! The people in town were being really mean to me! Why are you crying, Zipper Man? Did you get your skin stuck? 
stuck in a zipper? I'm not Zipper Man, and no, I didn't! Oh, damn it, I really am doing it so we can fight the Demon Lord's army, too. I'm partly to blame because I asked you to go out and get evil points. But I didn't expect some small-time creeper Zipper Man routine. Pathetic. I thought it was evil enough! <laughs> Well, you did try hard, even if you still suck. We'll save 200 points to get our trump card, and use the remainder on some mines. I know where the Demon Lord's army's coming through. We'll plant a string of mines there to slow them down as much as possible. Guerrilla tactics? It's been too long. I just don't know, Six. I don't believe any of the Elite Four are stupid enough to fall for such an obvious trap like this one. It's fine. The thing will pop at least one demon, am I right? And I can totally imagine Miss Shiny Heidi jumping for joy when she sees her precious widow stone, and then it just blows her honkers right off. You truly are a terrible person. We're all gonna die! <laughs> Let's just surrender, okay? What is going on? Hey, uh, excuse me, miss. Uh, yeah? What is it? It's you! Please. Hello! Pay no mind to this vile pervert. Has something bad happened? Everyone's acting strange. Uh, well, uh, it has to do with the Chosen One. It seems he's gone missing. <gasps> I did gather some intel. Check this out, Zipperman. Look, I'm trying to bury that nickname, so could you please not? The Chosen One had edged the Elite Four's Faustless of the Wind right to the brink of defeat. But apparently the enemy used a spell called Random Teleport and vanished somewhere with the Kingdom's hero. Random, huh? There's no telling where they went. It could be up in the sky or far underground. Wherever they are, odds tell me that the Chosen One is dead. I actually feel sort of bad for the guy. If my teleportation hadn't worked out as well as it did, I'd be pushing up daisies too. Hey, so like what were the odds on me fighting the big one? Never mind. Didn't their ancient legend supposedly foretell the Chosen One would defeat the Demon Lord? I know it's not based in science, but everything else so far has seemed to pretty much follow it, wouldn't you say? Don't change the subject on me. But yeah, it's like practically unheard of for the hero to just leave the game halfway through. Tell me, Six. Hmm? You like games and manga and things like that, right? Is there a certain way that a typical Chosen One story usually plays out? Uh, there's normally a big loss. He'll get wrecked by the enemy, and then there's the training arc, and then he can finally get his sweet revenge. <laughs> Do you think that the random teleport is the big loss? No, I'm afraid not. We know the Chosen One's already been beaten once, remember? At the hands of those two boss demons back in Duster Tower. <laughs> So, in a normal situation, he would train harder than ever, get his revenge, and restore hope to the people. But this time... Just what are you trying to say here, Alice? That the Chosen One's legend went to crap because I took the tower? Hey! You're a high-spec machine, right? Isn't there something we can do? Yes, but only if you're willing to do whatever it takes. Then lay it on me! Earn enough evil points to buy biological or chemical weapons that are completely inhumane. No, next. I can go on a solo mission into the Demon Lord's castle, self-destruct, and vaporize everything within a wide area. No freaking way! Is there an option that doesn't completely suck? There's not. <laughs> the Chosen One being out of the picture is bad. Even if the Demon Lord's army is driven back this time, they're gonna need him down the line. So, so let's, let's run, run away! away. Man, you got a lot of stuff. What the hell is all this? All you need to know is that it's very valuable, so please be careful. What about the teleporter? We'll have to leave it, I suppose. <gasps> yeah, what do you want? We're busy. <clears throat> it's nice to see you again, Agent Six. Nope, no way. But I haven't even made any request of you. Yeah, and how about we keep it that way? Because you want me to fight this creepy demon lord or be your boy toy, and I'm too busy. <clears throat> I don't quite grasp the boy toy part of it, but here. You do recognize what this is, don't you? My parachute? You moron! I see. This device is called a parachute, you say? <clears throat> I'll get straight to the point. Agent Six, you really are a spy, aren't you? I'm sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. Too bad. Well, it seems we'll have to torture you then. I admit it, I am a spy. I lied, okay? Please have mercy on me. Well, that was quick. 
Uh, wait. So, uh, are you, like, gonna arrest us, or...? No, I'm not. I wasn't planning on it anyway. But I do have a request of you. Come tomorrow, this great kingdom will likely fall. All I want is for you to bear witness to the final moments of our valiant knights and soldiers, and then tell those in your homeland of the Kingdom of Grace how we stood strong in the face of the enemy, and how our forces fought bravely. Please, raise the alarm about this looming danger, so they can fully prepare for the Demon Lord's army. Man, I feel like such a sucker. But how could I say no to that? Do you think that we should just run instead? If we do, it'll be better to sneak away while the Demon Lord's army's attacking. Hey, it's the commander! Well, what a pleasant surprise to see you again. I was actually a little worried after hearing how badly Snow had sexually harassed you. Grim! That's a lie and you know it! Tillis asked me to stay and keep an eye on things in the castle till tomorrow. Luckily, she also said I can bail whenever things get too hairy. Oh, okay! The princess is sure to be safe with you watching out for her. So, do you know where you guys will be tomorrow? <sighs> Don't you worry. Both Grimm and Rose are now full members of the Royal Guard. We're stationed at the main gate tomorrow. They're helping to hold the last line of defense. <sighs> All right, just stay alive. And remember that there's no shame in running. There's no way. We're proud and courageous Royal Guards. We'd rather die than run like cowards. Wouldn't we? Uh, uh, hey, ladies. Back me up here. Um, yeah, I'll do my best tomorrow. But, Commander, if things do get too dangerous, you need to take Tillis and go. And I'm actually gonna try and stay awake all day tomorrow. Whoever my future husband is, they need me to survive. You'll both be staying to the end with me, won't you? <sighs> Look, so we're clear, I'm only allowing you to say because the princess said so. You got that? Don't think for a moment that I've forgiven you. Oh, wow. Sounds like that stick up your butt has gone sideways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's a losing battle, but I'll beat some sense into you! You're really trying to kill me, aren't you? <laughs> You're not gonna stop them? No, because they finally get it now. They fight, but only to hide their love for each other. <sighs> You're right. It's disgusting, and I love it. Well, what do you know, Six? Someone actually likes you. Hey, that's enough, okay? You're gonna have to save a little bit of that bloodlust for the enemy, so calm down! Soldiers, by protecting this gate, you are safeguarding your home, your family, and your very honor! Today, we will stand our ground, show the Demon Lord that the Chosen One isn't all they have to fear! Let's give them hell! So, Agent Six, what will the enemy's next move be? I'm not lying, I swear! I saw it! That unicorn was really using his freaking horn to get under the chick's skirt! Wow. Excuse me, Six? I'll bet unicorns are reincarnated dirty old men. That whole only virgins ride them thing is just a kink. Uh, Alice, you too? All right, boys. Let's get after it and show no mercy! We will crush them! Without their precious chosen one, there's nobody to... Here we go! Strike fear into the human's miserable hearts! So, I, do you really need my help with this? You can take out that tiny kingdom of humans, can't you? Now don't get cocky, Godalkin. I told you, one was able to best me. To be quite honest, I fear that man more than the Chosen. <sighs> well, what kind of force could take my golem down in a single hit like that? Don't stop now! You'll just be a target! What's going on here? Damn it! Everyone keep your guard up! Oh no, it's that man again. I can feel it. The wavelength given off by my magicite. I know you're hiding nearby, right, Six? What's your game here? Are you wanting to join with us now that the Chosen One is gone? Oh 
my precious baby. My magic sight. The way that this planet operates doesn't make a lot of sense to me. For example, there are things that would seem impossible, like curses and magic. Funny you should mention that. I can use a bit of magic. Oh, really? Show me your tricks. I would like to see your magic as well. I will grant that wish for you. I only have enough power to perform this feat one time, so watch very carefully, if you please. <sighs> you will bear witness to eat a I'm blowing up with some random evil points. Wonder why. There were some punk kids calling me Zipper Man, so I planted some erotic literature right where their folks would find him. Oh. You gave pornography to children? Well, I had thought about pantsing them, but this seemed like a better idea. Meh. As long as you got some evil points for it, I guess it's fine. Huh? What do you think? This particular magic spell summons a water spirit! Yeah, I wasn't looking. I had glanced away too. But you can do it again, right? <sighs> is it me, or is the Demon Lord's army running late? Maybe they won't even come today. Yeah, I'd imagine the minefield must be delaying them. Well, then how about we all go home for the day? Or do you think maybe we should just cut and run? You two, honestly. You mean you're not worried about Snow and the others? They'll be fine. After all, those gals, they're part of my awesome unit. <laughs> Then I can 
guess you're gonna die! Now it's you! Stand back. I'll handle him. I can do this. I can at least land one attack. Stop right there, Snow. I'm not exactly sure what you're planning to do. But take the word of an Archpriest of the Lord of Undeath. Dying really sucks. I'd recommend you avoid it. Grim, I... You need to get moving now, Snow! Because Princess Tilt still needs your help! Commander Six is watching her, you know. I find it rather hard to believe you're okay with that. I know, but... My subordinates... Telling me to run. Hear me! Lord Venereth! Sink into my burning sea of hellfire! Sleep forever! Crimson breath! It's painful. I worked hard to get where I am. But still, the enemy barely even noticed me. I can't leave. I refuse to go without a fight. Please help me. Commander. Commander. Help me save them! Your unit needs you! I'm very disappointed in you, Six. You've managed to find a new way to be an abysmal failure of a villain. A Lobi who's been with Kisaragi longer than anyone but its top brass. This is why you'll never move up. Don't oh, shut your hole! Just have him send me that anti-material rifle. Fine, whatever, loser. But, Commander, what do you plan to do? We don't have near enough time left to run down to the gate, so we're gonna hit him hard from up here. I won't abandon you, so let me go. Agent Six, you're being so cool right now! How do we not have enough evil points to buy anything? I made sure to leave more than 200! Uh, well, you know, it gets super boring around here. Like, especially after it gets dark. So, I... You stupid horn dog! You spent the rest of our evil points on pornography, didn't you? The night before the big battle and you're cranking it with all our money! Um, is there some kind of problem? Yeah, this pervert doomed us because he couldn't resist rubbing one out. Well, fine. This is an emergency. Hey, Six? Yeah? Head downstairs, go find that henpecked king and punch him right in his fat bearded face! I'm on it! <gasps> no, no! Fun, but it's a serious mission, so you need to let me go and do what needs to be done. So all you need to do is punch someone? Uh, I don't necessarily have to punch him. Just do whatever it'll take to really piss someone off. In that case, you can punch me. Huh? 
I don't quite understand why, but this is something that you have to do, isn't it? And honestly, if you need to do something I won't like... <laughs> and feel on my breasts or squeeze me wherever you want to most! Uh, well, you can't just, uh... Hurry it up. Chop, chop. Jiggle her boobs, grab her butt, just go for it. I, uh... <laughs>
ridiculously long name, anti-armored vehicle vibrating blade, bad sword type R. It comes in crazy handy when I want to turn some big ugly chumps into tiny little chunks. I can only use it for one minute, but still. This baller baby has been the last thing to go through the minds and the guts of many a hero. Limit or release! This pink thing's gonna save you! told you to back up earlier. No, you told me to hold on to my butt. Well, are you gonna chop her up too? <laughs> Listen up, Heine. Yeah. Hmm. Let's call a ceasefire for one month. Do you really think a short truce is a good idea? A month's plenty. Don't worry about that. Besides, I got an awesome plan in mind. And by the way, Snow, you told me that you'd do anything, didn't you? Go jump in the bath and get yourself all fresh and squeaky clean. Uh, seriously? <laughs> okay, then. I need to head downstairs and give a speech to the soldiers who were able to survive. All right, Six. Once the cooldown period's over and you can move again, we need to have a little chat. So, uh, Six, I mean, Commander, I know I said I'd do anything. Um, the hell are you doing? I hope you can deal with me not sleeping with you right now. Unless you're cool with him watching. Back off! That's too gross and too close! Get that stinky nightmare fuel away! Forget it! That's all I want from you, all right? Oh, of course. You're way too much like Astaroth. All you women are exactly the same. You just want to use me up and then throw me away! You horrible tease! I knew this would happen from the mo- I'm sorry. For now, let me get off with this. I don't mind at all you have feelings for me, and I don't understand you. But I'll take the time to figure you out. I'm pretty inexperienced, but if you're patient, you won't regret it. <laughs> What's you babbling about? Uh. The only kind of feelings that I really have for you are more like physical urges. Like, you've got an okay face and a rockin' butt, but you're going on and on like I'm in love with you or something. You can't tame this, Stallion. Uh. Simmer down. Let's talk this over. Come on, you know that I can't move right now. If you start swinging that sword around again, I won't be able to dodge it like last time. Control your feelings, Snow. I know you're not just some psycho chick. Cool it, why don't you? Appreciate all you've done for us. Well, if 
that's how you feel about it, there's something you can do. You can put my name down in your little history books as the man who saved the kingdom. So, Six, tell me something. Would you be interested in being a knight of the kingdom again? Nah, I'm kind of sick of all this. I don't feel like babysitting these weirdos anymore. <laughs> right off my shoulders I see there's something you want to say to me or what the war has been so hard on us our once vibrant kingdom is suffering we need someone who can lead a unit and fight it doesn't even matter who you actually are yeah you said you don't want to lead difficult people I know I annoy you but still you could be a mercenary instead not my commander So you need combat agents. <laughs> hey, geezer. Uh, it's you. What's with the long, ugly face? Snow told me about you. She said that you've been very naughty. Ah, uh, what the devil is that? It's our number one weapon against crappy balding guys. Back home, we call it duct tape. Uh, We're gonna shine that dome! <laughs> total meathead, but I think this plan of yours is pretty good. Hmm? What are you talking about? Plus, I'm not a meathead. Take a look at your evil points, would ya? Hmm. 190 points. That's not too bad, I'd say. You sure about that? Negative 190? If you go back to headquarters with that many negative points, the punishment squad will be waiting to greet you. Then what am I supposed to do? Listen carefully. Even after we have the ability to make it back home, you'll need to stay here. At least until you get your points back up in positive territory. Yeah, okay! We'll need an alibi. Something to put in the reports why you can't come home. And I think I should stay here with you, while you're trying to acquire enough points. Oh, oh thank you! Yeah, you can cut that creepy stuff out right now, okay? Just concentrate on getting back in the black. Oh, yeah! On it, partner! And to get things started, I'm gonna go and strip my unit completely naked! <laughs> Seriously? And what do you mean by partner? I mean, I'm a support android. Hanging. From what 
what I can tell, the war has left a shortage of young men there. <clears throat> and Alice told me you only have cute girls on your unit. So how about sending some reinforcements? That big old battle was a while ago, and you can only send me one lousy mutant? <sighs> we simply don't have any to spare. Since we're so close to conquering the world, the heroes have decided to launch a large-scale counterattack. Even Belial and Lilith are fighting at the front lines. But things look dire. <sighs> On that note, we would rather have you back at home with us. I'm an old model with outdated enhancements. I doubt that I could help much. So you should let me run things here, and I'm positive that you can handle whatever comes your way. Such a pain. Well, if you insist on staying there, you better produce results. Stop slacking off and get things ready for our invasion. <laughs> what? How in the fresh hell am I supposed to do that without any freaking support? Don't think I can't make you cry just because I'm on another planet, you hear me? You can't talk to me that way just because there's nobody else here, and you don't have that power over me. Mm. Oh, you are wrong about that, sister. Why don't I show you how I earned my new nickname, Superman? For us to establish our base. Put on your 3D glasses now. So we meet again, Agent Six. I say let's finish this right now. Whatever curls your tail, Tiger Man. I'll fight you with my late subordinate's prize blade, the Watson Zapper. I'm pretty positive she's alive right now. And it's not fair you get a magic sword now. Hey, I'm fighting a huge, super strong mutant cat. I need some kind of handicap. By the way, that meow crap is so freaking cringy. I heard it's a good way to get some tail, meow. Say what? So can I do it too? Meow if you want. Okay, let's rock six. Show me just how strong you become, meow. You'll have eight lives left, so meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fine. Miss Meowless has the perfect solution for you big meat-headed animals. Just glue the thing back on and play dumb. Meow, yeah! Hey, Six, yeah. where are you hiding? I finally had enough! <laughs> there you are! And that hairy demon thing's with you! Now what have you done with my sword? I knew that she'd show up. Look, you'd better get back, Flame Zapper. It's still on a five-year loan! Uh, that sword, uh... Went on a journey. What? Yeah, it, like, became self-aware or something. It told me it was off to find its real master. Don't be dumb! And if that were true somehow, I'm quite certain it would recognize me as its real master. Wait. What are you two hiding? Uh, uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, the thing just recently returned from its quest. I hate to break it to you, but it lost its brave battle with the Demon Lord. <gasps> It cried out your name one final time, and then it went back to a regular sword that can't tell on me. Flame Zapper! I'll never forget polishing you every single night before bed! My precious flamey boy! The day I bought you, I'm so happy I can Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> For you. Wow, that is beautiful. What an amazing work of craftsmanship. It's yours if you want it, Meow. Oh, thank you so much, Tiger Man! Feline, you're a pretty great kind of creature, you big fuzzy kitty. Meow. What? You just called me a demon a meow minute ago. Now back off, you're wriggling the fur. That's kind of crazy. I guess the pussycat talk does bring in the chicks, huh? Look, she beast here is too thick. I like mine younger and slimmer. Meow. Uh -huh. Wow, Tiger Man. You're a piece of work. <clears throat> An attack? Now, Six, let's move out. There's some glory to be claimed. Hey, will you stay and watch the castle for me, big guy? Toads the goats! <laughs> oh, can't we just so we can save you around? <laughs> Here's to another victory, y'all! Cheers! <sighs> Nothing like a strong drink to forget about work! Hey, girls, it's all on me today! Get those bottoms up! Thank you so much! <laughs> Yes, it is very charming. But I don't think I'd want a husband that spent so much money at the bar all of the time. <laughs> oh, you girls are such sweet. I don't believe I would classify those as compliments. Everyone says he's never lost against the demons. Unbelievable! That is so cool! 
Yeah, baby. The ladies know I'm the top stud in town. Soon my hair will be... I smell Superman. Oh, he's got something stinky about his zipper. Zip it up, Superman. Uh, I'll cut off your head. Uh, you uh, 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 your brain. Uh, 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 you were such a brave little sword today. I promise I'll give you a cool name when we get home. So, Snow, if I'm not mistaken, you got your gig with the Royal Guard back, didn't you? What are you doing slumming around with my unit? I have direct orders from Princess Tillis to keep a close eye on you. She probably wants me to work on building a connection with your home country. You sure she doesn't just want to get rid of you? How dare Hey, Alice, you don't eat or drink, so what made you decide to come to the bar with us anyway? It's part of my research on this planet. I'm compiling a large report to send to Kisaragi HQ. It's hard to believe, but both of you are actually magic users from a faraway world, aren't you? It's not magic. We're men of science. So, what are you investigating? Well, the food sources, for one. There's a chance most of what they eat is toxic to Earthlings. Like, for example, do you have any idea what kind of meat that is and where it came from? Hmm. Hey, boss! If you don't want to eat that, I'm happy to take it. I love some orc meat. It's orc? I'm not gonna eat meat that talks and has feelings. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Surprise, you're so delicate. I'm not that brave when it comes to food, are ya? Hey, Snow, you're off tomorrow, right? If you have time to help me out, I can pay you. Oh, really? I do have some big loans to pay off. So what do you need? I need you to investigate whatever this is. Instincts as me, so I shouldn't be too hard on them. Hey, if you guys are around, you stop hiding and come out. Okay, I'm not mad, okay. so. Mokey, mokey, mokey! 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 Mokey, 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 mokey! that I don't know anything about this planet. This jumbo shrimp monster might be friendly. I mean, although we're different species born on different planets, we're here together now. And we can be friends. Okay. <laughs> Be nice to him. Anyway, I want to tell you something. 
Grit made me watch the Cinerus ceremony, and she did a weird ritual. It was kind of scary because she was able to summon this undead. There you go! Why don't you try some of this yummy kebab? It'll keep your mouth occupied for a bit. So, Grim, did you really summon the undead again? Well, what if I did? I am an archpriest of the great Lord Cinerith, the god of undeath and disaster. What's wrong with summoning some undead? Hang on, Grim. When you say undead, do you mean things like zombies and ghosts? Yeah, exactly. Rose is talking about me summoning a ghost. Hey, Six! Are you hearing all of this occult nonsense? I'm a disciple of science, so I consider this as a declaration of war. There is no magic in this world now that Moke's dead, so who cares? Oh, stop crying. What I mean is that psychic powers are what they call magic. Kind of the flame's fire magic is just run-of-the-mill pyrokinesis. It's kind of like having a badass sixth sense. Can confirm, things with six in the name are hella cool. What I'm saying is ghosts are way less plausible than magic. Be careful, Alice. Doubt Lord Cenerith's power and he will put a curse on you. Curses are just hypnosis and self-suggestion. And Lord Cenerith is just a myth. What did you say? Can you explain how Grim can lose her head and then come back to life? Can you explain how lizards can grow back their tails? She may just be some kind of bizarre creature that looks like a human. Okay, if you doubt that much, I'll show you! I can't sit here and let you talk smack about Lord Zenerith not being real! That's fine with me. My science will bust your myths wide open. So, why the hell did you two drag me into your beef exactly? Isn't it obvious, Commander? Because we need a witness to my god's miracles, of course. It is obvious. You need to fight frauds like her with irrefutable proof. Otherwise, they make excuses and try to muddy the water. <laughs> Shut up, you snotty little brat! You spend eternity in hell, you know! <laughs> Ready? I'm gonna wipe that smirk off your face and replace it with a grimace of terror as you watch what happens to this poor, powerless sacrifice that I bought at the butcher shop! <laughs> Um, hey, do you mind being my assistant real quick, Commander? When I give the signal, I want you to send him to Lord Zenith. I don't want to mark the bunny! If you can't do stuff like this, how are you an evil god's archpriest? How are you such a wuss? And by the way, Lord Zenith isn't evil! Okay, so I just bludgeon it to death with this thing? Jeez, Alice, how can you be so heartless? Yeah, and doesn't your conscience get in the way? We androids don't have either of those things. <laughs> Plus, every man dreams of having a harem. Uh -huh. Well then, 
So in exchange for your immortal soul. Are you kidding? You really think I'd fall for a cheap hologram? Hmm? Hologram? What does this mean, little one? Why don't you just butt out of this, little one, and watch your tone with a devil? Yes, I am a great and powerful devil who serves Lord Cinereth. And my name is... <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You're being rude. Yeah, and don't interrupt my wish, okay? Shut up. And don't interrupt my research. Hey, so where is your real body anyway? Oh, uh... So you figured out this was just a projection? Who cares? Let's get back to my wish! On this rug? <laughs> Stop it, hey, would you? You can research all you want after I get my wish! Forget your wish, you jackass! And you shouldn't fall for a lame con artist like this! What? How dare you question my power! I'll stop your tiny heart for showing such insolence! <laughs> Androids don't have hearts, you idiot. Uh, the hell is going on? You've shown your power. In that case, how about I grant your wish instead? Okay. Hmm? I want you to create two or three habitable planets. Very well, then. Uh, um, you said planets? I did. While we're young. Ah, uh, now wait a second. You're asking me to create two or three whole worlds for you? That's the greediest wish I've ever heard! You did say anything, didn't you? Fine, then. Exterminate some of the local wildlife for me. The demon lord, his demon army, the moke... You're asking for genocide, you know! Come on! Moke Moke did nothing wrong! Can you not just wish for something normal? You know, like wealth, power, eternal youth! I've got wealth and power. Plus, we androids don't age. Hey! Just let her go home, Alice! Wow, your idea of anything sucks. All you've shown us is what you can't do. Okay, I've got it. The toilet in our hideout is clogged. Why don't you fix that? <laughs> You're asking a devil to fix your toilet? <laughs> Do you realize who you're talking to? <laughs> well, it's not gonna fix itself, so will you? Or won't you? Well, you see, I'm a greater devil. <laughs> Uh, and nothing? Sorry. Oh, forget about it. Just leave. <laughs> yeah, you make me I feel really awful for what we did to that devil. I don't give a crap. Well, on the positive side, I do take some comfort in the fact that at least we were able to prove my power's real. Oh, you think so? <laughs> Yeah, because that devil... There's no proof that entire thing wasn't some kind of staged production. Besides, I thought I asked you to show me a ghost. <laughs> I tried. Well, if you want to fool me, you're going to need to try a lot harder than that. Third-rate con artist. Ah, how dare you! I worked extra hard because I wanted to prove that I wasn't modern! I'm afraid that at this rate we're going to run out of water completely. I wanted to do. But there's just no other choice. We've conducted surveys on the local ecosystems as well as occult beliefs. I'll gather more data. However, I still remain skeptical of the existence of devils. <sighs> I still wish I had a hair. Man, if I had been there, I'd have sold my fur balls to get my wish, meow. What would you have wished for? I would wish to be a pretty little girl, meow. Uh, guess you're pretty serious about that, meow. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. When I retire, I'll ask Lilith for the surgery to make me a pretty girl, meow. Would you stop with the stupid meow thing, guys? And I had a very lengthy negotiation with a so-called devil. I found them lacking. I may need to recite it in front of a full audience.
I know what this is. <laughs> Girls your age need to blow off some steam once in a while. <laughs> no, that is not it. This is all because you decided to make our prayer profane. I did what now? That just doesn't sound like something I would do at all. Is he lying? Or did he just forget? So, what's the skinny? Must be big to bring me all the way here. <laughs> I do have a rather urgent request for you. I believe it's something only a man like you can do. I'm sorry, Tillis. Trust me, I'm flattered. But you're a little shifty for my taste. Stop being nasty! I'm saying I have a crucial mission for you, Agent Six. And I am the furthest from shifty. This matter concerns this artifact, a major source of water for the kingdom. Ever since it stopped working, our nation hasn't had nearly enough water. So we imported water stones, which we've been able to get from Taurus, a kingdom that shares our border. Now that the artifact has been fixed, we shouldn't be forced to rely on trade any longer. But then when it came time to use it, Father refused to say the indecent prayer and has since vanished without a trace. Well, why don't you say it then? So, while we search high and low for Father, I'll be having Snow deliver a message to the Kingdom of Taurus. Agent Six, I'd like for you to escort her there. I think we could avoid all of this if you just said it for him. We reduced imports once, and now we're asking to raise them again. Negotiations will be quite hard. Know what's easy? You getting up there and saying it yourself. Also, <laughs> Taurus's crown prince is known for being quite the womanizer. Which is why we're sending Snow, who despite her personality is still quite pretty. Stop! You're freaking me out, which is kind of hard to do. If you let me finish, you'll understand. In case something bad happens, I want you to protect Snow. And hopefully catch the prince in the act as well. If Prince Grabby Hands tries to seduce a royal messenger, well, that kind of incident may ease up negotiations. Yeah? Where I'm from, we call that strategy blackmail. And if you accept this mission, I'll gladly give you all the information Alice is requesting. Info? you want to be one with the ground, you better sit. Hey, Six, you ever want to sell this magic device? I know a guy that'll pay well for a rare item like this. Look at the deadly heads! They're moving slower than a pack of purple night-eyes! They're not! I'd rather see them all. I'm gunning it! Oh, crap! Those things are gonna eat her! I told her she'd fall! You've got an uncanny ability to take damage before we even get near a battle. Might you be the emissaries from the Kingdom of Grace? Roger Dodger. I bid you welcome to Taurus. Crown Prince Engel has prepared a grand banquet to celebrate your arrival. That's marvelous. My name is Snow, commander of the Kingdom of Grace's royal guard, as well as personal knight to the fair Princess Tillis. Uh, is that so? It's a pleasure. To be honest, I've never actually seen your nation's famous water stones with my own eyes. I hear they're lovely. I would love to see one for myself. So, do you think you can make that happen for me? Yes, but of course. I'll prepare a few as gifts, no problem at all, ma'am. If you'd be so kind as to share them with Princess Tillis... Oh, she'll get some. <sighs> By the way, the vehicle we brought here will carry a lot more than just a few. So, we shutting her down or what? In this quasi-primitive society, bribery is quite normal. Hey, Commander. What do you think about this dress? I see. Healed up already. Come on. Don't you think it's sexy? Try to simmer down, Grandma. You're past your prime. Hear me, oh great lord, Cenerith! Bring woe upon this man! Give him the curse of impotence! Ah! Damn it, I missed! Why did you even try it? What's all the commotion about? We good? Let's go, you guys. As representatives of the Kingdom of Grace, we should do our best to embody grace and elegance. All I want to do is get my grub on. Yeah, Six, that's a problem. Wow, you don't say. We couldn't have found a worse person for so the job. And yet so accomplished. Oh, you do flatter me. Um, Miss Messenger, <laughs> I... Drop the formality. We're friends, aren't we? Please, why don't you just call me Grim? Uh, no thanks. Also, may I ask why you aren't wearing shoes? It's for religious reasons. <laughs> I'll stab her from behind, quietly. 
You can tell everybody the journey has her not feeling very well and then drag her out. I'm down for trying that approach on Grim. But what do we do about her? Oh, this is like a dream come true. You people really are into something with this whole roast beef right Thank you, but that's not one serving. And what's more, the bones aren't meant to be eaten. If she doesn't knock that crap off, I might have to slip her enough sedatives to put down a full-grown elephant. Yeah, good. So that'll take care of the two of them. But there's our real problem. Now where's that handsome prince hiding? <laughs> Youngish prince of a resource-rich nation who's next in line to be the king? His queen is gonna have it made. I could set myself up with a sugar daddy. I know she's dreaming, but she's way off. The royal heir is a pudgy, balding serial womanizer. Tell Snow and bring her back down to reality. Nah, let's wait it out. It'll be much more satisfying to watch her dreams get shattered when she first sees them for herself. I gotta tell you, Six, you're a real asshole. Ladies and gentlemen, Crown Prince Angle has arrived. Oh. Prince Angle! Nice to meet you. My name is Snow, and I've come all the way from the Kingdom of Grace. Hold on, she doesn't care what he looks day. like? Oh my, they sent quite a fetching emissary our way. I'm sure the men usually travel great distances to see you. Your Highness, you're going to make me blush. What a pleasant surprise. They didn't tell me you were so manly. Or so handsome and svelte. I have to admit, I'm getting a little dizzy. Wow. She actually has zero shame, doesn't she? None at all. Seems she is a confirmed money sexual. She'd fall in love with a slime or an orc for a good payout. Uh, be still my heart. Snow, we do have mirrors in this kingdom, so you don't have to go out of your way to flatter me like this, you know. But I honestly find you attractive. Yeah. Please look into my eyes, your majesty. My vision is perfect, and is this not the look of honesty? I, I can't gaze into those beautiful eyes and call you a liar, can I? Come on, man. Have a little self-respect. Maybe he's just blind? Thank you. Perhaps there are some girls like you out there. Mm hmm So, let's talk about the reason why you're here. You've come to discuss the situation concerning the Waterstones. Uh, I'm trying my hardest to seduce you right now. And you just want to talk about boring state business? Uh, well, just what do you expect me to do instead? Because if I were to fraternize with an ally's messenger, it'd be an international incident. Wow, what a coward! Everybody says that you're a handsy, skirt-chasing lech! Were they wrong about that? Insulting me is not going to help you. Besides, I thought you liked There's me. There's no hope. We're boned. You dare take me for a fool?! If you do have a fiancé, you shouldn't hide that from me! Just because you're kind of hot, it doesn't give you permission to play games with a maiden's heart! Miss Grimm, please calm down. Silence, fool! Oh, great lord, Zenerith! some action by now. What you're after is a pretty sexy girl who's devoted to you, aren't you? You might as well save yourself all the trouble and buy one of Kisaragi's new X-rated androids. Uh, you're really suggesting I buy a pretty girl pervert android? You're hearing things. I never said the word pervert. Anyway, I found this when I was surveying the castle and acting lost. You have any idea what it is? Oh, most definitely. This is a pod for growing creepy stuff. A homunculus or a clone or something like that. Looks like a cold sleep capsule to me. No, I guarantee they're brewing up some hot girls in this thing. Don't no. touch that! Are you that stupid? I mean, any idiot would realize that something you don't put your grubby little hands on! Who's this fussy little shrimp? I'm Agent Six, an important ambassador from the Kingdom of Grace. So I'm kind of a big deal, okay? Meaning, watch your tone. Are you really Agent Six? I can't believe Godalkin lost to a loser like you. What's a Godalkin? He was that Elite Four demon you decapitated? <laughs> I guess Heino was right about you. Not so bright. My name's Russell, by the way. One of the Demon Elite Four. I'm Russell of the War. <laughs> What's with all the noise in 
here, Russell. You! <laughs> gotcha! Well, well, well. Didn't expect to see you bouncing around down here, but I'm down to snag a babe. Hey, Alice, warp in some handcuffs. Coming right up. Stop! Listen up, Six. I'm not your enemy today. <laughs> Russell, right? Pay attention. I'm just about to get to the good part. You seem pretty experienced, Hina. So you know what happens to sexy girls, especially the bad ones when they get captured by the enemy, don't you? No, please, Six, wait. This time we're really just... Stop it, that tickles! It's clear why you're an evil agent. Now show us all how you've mastered the art of being a full-blown scumbag. To be clear, that's a compliment, yeah? Stop tickling her, you big creep! Let her go right now! Give me a break. Like your side doesn't do the exact same thing. <laughs> Stop it! How about I show you my evil kid impression? I like to take this one as my own personal toy. Huh? This sucks. I'm bored with him now, so I'll break him. Sound familiar, you fishy-looking little rug rat? I don't say that stuff. Not very often, at the least. Did you hear me? Why don't you try listening for once? Okay? And get your damn hands off me! You're in the evil place! Hey! Badass! You got some splaining to do, so start talking right uh, now! What's going on? Badass! This man's being magnificent! You're busted! You're gonna sell those water stones to the demons, and then make some kind of alliance with them, aren't ya? What? Is this true? It's not an alliance. It's a simple non-aggression pact. Recent events have proven that it's possible to negotiate with the demons. But still, that doesn't mean we're joining forces against you. Don't you understand, Prince Engel? There's a reason why the demons waged war on humanity. You know that, don't you? Yes, of course I do. It's because their land has been invaded by the huge beast that turns everything into a barren desert. So they can either expand or lose it all. Yes, as long as the Sand King is out there, the Demon Lord will continue to lose territory. So they won't take peace as an option, it's just a ruse. What's more, if you're busy trying to cash in while the rest of humanity is all coming together to fight against them, the other nations of the world might start to think that makes you look like a traitor to your own kind. First she flirts, and then she makes threats. Nice. Wrong. If you truly want to broker a peaceful resolution, we would be happy to discuss that with you. You're nothing but a liar. I won't forget the men who died, and I will never forget what you did to my sword! Godalkin was slain the last time we met? You're not blameless. <laughs> and thanks to Prince Angle's generosity, we think we can handle the Sand King. Because of what the Crown Prince told us is true, there's something in the ancient ruins here that can neutralize the threat. Ruins, huh? Tillis mentioned those. Do you understand now? With the Sand King taken out, there's no war! What we are hoping to accomplish will benefit the entire world. But the threats you're making will only be a barrier to peace, so who's the real traitor here? <laughs> Grace wasn't buying the Water Stone, so we took them off their hands. Your little country isn't the only one with needs. You think you can just demand they give them to you? <laughs> think again. Although you may claim to be an ally of Taurus, the reality looks quite a bit different now, doesn't it? No. You'll stand with the people of the Kingdom of Grace, right, Prince Engel? Hmm. I'm sorry I allowed myself to get out of line earlier. I know I've been a very naughty girl. But we can still be friends. I can learn how to be very good. Hey! Stop that! <laughs> oh, Prince Engel. Same for me. I could be a special friend, too. What are you doing? Are you trying to seduce the prince? You should be ashamed. You hypocrite. Oh. Hey, Prince Angle. I'm way cuter than Miss Cowhorn. Right? Are you crazy? Anyone can see I'm far sexier. Prince Angle. Hang on. Why does this chubby, oh, ugly schlub have these women going crazy? Why aren't the ladies treating me like the cliched harem protagonist? He's a crown prince and you're a clown prince. Mm. Look, I do appreciate this, but this is not the way diplomatic matters should be settled. <laughs> I don't understand, and please forgive my saying so, but your reputation as a ladies' man is well known. Earlier, you couldn't take your eyes off my cleavage. 
How could you have changed so dramatically? I'm not exactly sure, but right before this party began, I had the strangest sensation, like I could feel myself being reborn. Oh, my word, I've been such a degenerate, but the time has come for me to turn over a new leaf. Wow, uh, you're so honest. I know my personality needs work, but I've got a cute face and a tight body. Sweet prince, I am a demon, but a very supportive girlfriend. We're both human. So that means we'd be much more compatible. Prince Angle, I know what you really need. I don't know how I could be clearer, but I'll try. I am not interested in either of you in any way. I see. <laughs> so he's actually more like the cliched harem protagonist with no balls. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the pain of when I tried to take a peek at Astaroth in the bath, but instead I just saw Tiger Man scrubbing his junk. Or all of those times when the junior combat agents took my promotion. Even when that stupid hero kicked my ass, I didn't feel nearly this defeated. Is there a problem, Six? You look like you're actually thinking about something. I have a feeling that's a precursor to some stupid action. Sorry, Alice. I'm about to totally freak out. Will you please have my back? Because sometimes, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. I don't understand, but I'm your partner in this mission. We are with the same evil group. And no matter what you do, I'm with you to the bitter end. So don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, Alice. <laughs> you know, I don't see why you're trying to pretend you're not terrible. I mean, just look at how you dress, exposing yourself while sucking up. I'm sucking up, that's pretty rich coming from you. What do you mean? It's Excuse me, Prince Angle. Huh? I've what? got a little party trick that'll be perfect. It's just the thing to get the vibe back on track. Ah, a trick you say? Sounds like a good idea to me. Okay, now I just need you to stay right where you are. Wait, Six. Don't you dare. Check this out, buddy. This is a huge thing where I come from. I think everyone's gonna get a kick out of this maneuver. Behold the top nut! You earned evil points! <laughs> the actions of your ambassadors have gone far beyond the pale. So as a result, the kingdom of Taurus hereby declares war on the Kingdom of Grace. We will also immediately halt all exports and initiate every manner of economic sanctions. We request a quick and heartfelt apology and that you hand over your two ambassadors. If you fail to comply, we will have to resort to force and exact our revenge in blood. I didn't expect a declaration of war, especially after sending my top ambassadors on a goodwill mission. Well, we can't change what's in the past. <laughs> That's why it's always important to look towards the future. You know this huh? is your fault, don't you? Calm down. I'm honestly amazed we just made it back here alive. Why in the hell did you teabag the prince? I don't see the problem. I mean, that really is a pretty standard party gag where I come from. You know what that tells me? You come from a super screwed up place! In any case, you two have made a huge mess of things, Snow. Listen, I'm removing you from the position of Commander of the Knights. Damn it! I just got my job back at that big devotee again! It will take some time to prepare for war, so Taurus won't be able to attack us immediately. But meanwhile, we'll still need to figure out how to get water. Tillis, did you forget? The artifact that makes the rainfall has been repaired! And since we can't find the king, you're going to get to say the incantation yourself! I have a much better idea. You've heard of the mysterious water nut, haven't you? They say it grows only in the middle of the Tazan Desert, which is deep inside the Sand King's territory. Um, I've heard of it. You can get a massive load of liquid from a single nut, and you want me to get one. So there really are plants out here. Surprised they can survive in this desert. After we grab these nuts and solve the water crisis, we're the kingdom's new heroes! And the princess will be sure to give me my job back! Mm. These nuts are pretty tiny. Could they really have enough juice in them to matter? Sure. The water's supposedly compressed with magic. Wild. Again with the magic talk. 
Every time you make a reference to that bogus occult crap, it feels like a spiteful and futile attempt to deny my existence. Do you still not believe in magic after all this time, you silly girl? I'm sure you'll be punished for your blasphemy soon enough. I'm starting to smell some deliciously powerful magic all of a sudden. And a whole bunch of meat, too. Stop talking like that. Every time you start, something bad happens. <gasps> An earthquake? Behold! This is Lord Zenerith's punishment! Now tell your big sis Grim how sorry you are! Well, there's our cue. I'm not trying to get eaten by this damn planet. Everyone in the buggy! Huh? We're, We're running, running away! away. giant body? That's my guess. They're probably water storing organs. He doesn't seem too happy about us taking them. You know what, Alice? I'm done with this stupid planet. Let's go home. Don't be such a spoil sport, partner. I, for one, find this planet's unique fauna fascinating. He's already gaining on us. At this rate, he'll catch us in seconds. Hey! Can't you drive any faster? Afraid not, Six. All of you need to pay close attention and jump as soon as I see to. You're kidding. What about the nuts? Jump! to get back to Grace, we'll have to cross the Tazan Desert on foot. While the sun burns into us with all the tender mercy of a drunk stepdad's cigarette. So hot. Shut up, will ya? Hearing you complain about it just makes me feel hotter. Well, the sight of your clothes makes me feel hotter. Why are you still wearing that goofy black armor? Because it comes with a temperature-adjusting function. Huh? Wait, are you serious? That isn't fair. You should let me wear the top half at least. Couldn't if I tried. It was made to fit my brownie bod. Maybe the solution is for you to let those bouncy babies breathe. Cut it out, guys. Waste your energy and you'll end up even hungrier. <laughs> As usual, Count Thongulus had her near fatal dose of sunshine. Listen, Six, I'm using our last points to call in a tent. If you meatbags don't get out of the sun soon, you're dead. Fair enough. We have this for water at least. Commander, I really need to eat something soon, okay? We're all hungry, can it? Unsavory as it may sound, we'll just have to eat the first demon beast we come across. We'll do what we've gotta. This is about survival. The next thing we meet is meat. Mm -hmm. Got it? <clears throat> no, 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 no way! You can't make me! I'm not eating a freaking orc! You're the one who said we'd eat the next thing we met. Why are you trying to be picky now? Because he's a total whip. <laughs> Hold his mouth open, Rose. I'll jam it down his throat. You gotta stop them, Alice! They wanna make me abandon my humanity! Not to worry. I analyzed the orc's flesh, and it isn't toxic in the slightest. Poisonous or not, I ain't gonna eat a sentient being! Sure you will. I'll eat you soon. Say, uh... Ah! No, please! Not the balls! Anything but the balls! This is bad. Our problems are compounding. We'll have to turn to dire tactics. Mm, what's that mean? You need to yank down Snow's panties. <sighs> what are you talking about, Alice? You are my one hope! Get a hold of yourself, will you? I'm real sorry, Snow, but my partner's wish is my command, so... Don't you dare! What? Did the sun fry your brain? Come on, Alice, you're not actually gonna let him do it! Oh, she's serious! In case you've forgotten, I get rewarded for acting like a degenerate. <laughs> I get evil points, which can buy us food or even another buggy. You know, I'm surprised I didn't think of this sooner. Just stay still and I'll earn us some dinner. I'll cut your grubby hands off! Too close together and here, so stop! We shouldn't do this till we're really desperate, okay? I'm 
feeling plenty desperate, personally. And this is nothing new for us. It's not like I've never touched your tits or tugged your panties before, right? Uh, shut up! Shut up! Why is it always me anyway? Maybe you should take a turn for once. <laughs> this is about survival, okay? If you want to be fair, you could both... No way! Hey, six? Huh? <laughs> you earned the evil points! Well, six... That's just too far even going by my standards. Yeah, Commander? You're human scum. Huh? Oh, but Alice told me to. We've been wandering through the desert for four days now, and have yet to see any sign of a town. We finally realized that the best way to avoid getting cooked was to start moving at night. But this made us way less likely to find any demon beasts, so yeah, we're out of food. And I've stopped getting points for doing evil things to Grim while she's passed out. I'd be glad to eat an orc at this point. I was desperate enough to try going into negative points, but it didn't work. Which is weird, since it did last time. Pretty sure it's Astaroth's fault. I'm gonna earn a ton of evil points off her when I get back. At least that's what I tell myself. Rose has been acting kinda off. I think she wants to say something to me. She's keeping such a close watch over Grimm. If there's one decent person in this unit, it's her. She must be worried about her friend. So this is starvation, huh? cheeseburger and an ice cold beer and five minutes of privacy though i'd probably be cranking out dust at this point Consider this evil, right? The only explanation is that you like it. <laughs> After that, Snow and I almost murdered each other. Rose used to intervene when we butted heads, but she stopped recently. In fact, <laughs> she's been watching us, like she's hoping for something to happen. Those eyes she makes. I've seen them somewhere before. That's right! Hmm? Those are the same eyes that the sexually aggressive spider woman mutant gets when she looks at me! <laughs> it's said that when people are placed in extreme situations, their survival instincts kick in and they attempt to breed. because she's feeling randy. Uh... I can relate. I feel the same way. We're all sharing the same tent. Without any privacy, relief is hard to come by. <clears throat> Hold on. Where am I going with this? I mean, Grim and Snow are one thing, but Rose looks pretty freaking young. Yeah, no, that would violate the agent's code and our sexual harassment policy. Which means, if I want points, I have to get them from her, and flipping her skirt up won't cut it. <sighs> this is an emergency now. I'm stripping you down. Get ready. Go ahead and try it. My patience has reached its absolute limit. Let's end this now. Be reasonable, Snow. Just stay still for one minute, 
And soon we'll have full bellies and smiles on our faces. I might come out of it with a few more reasons to smile than you. But open your mind and you'll see that it's still a good deal for us both. This is a desperate situation. You would say anything to trick me, I know that. But... You don't want to die out here, do you? You want a full belly and a ride home, don't you? I know I do, boss! That's great, but I'm not talking to you right now. So, how about it, Snow? Take me up on my offer now, and I'll even throw in a rare item to sweeten the pot. <laughs> you can either keep it or sell it for cash. You are still trying to pay off the loan on your sword, aren't you? You... silver tongue sleazeball. To be honest, I fail to see the issue here. You were all over that ankle guy. What makes this situation so different? Look! I was temporarily blinded by his all but literally boundless wealth. And I could get him to take responsibility. Unlike... the piece of trash that you call your partner. That's fair. Take responsibility is not my favorite phrase. I was trying to persuade her to go along with it, you clueless shithead. That settles it. I am not letting you touch me. Uh, uh, hey, I wasn't done talking to you. Having to carry Grim has been bad enough. If Snow goes down on us too, then... This is your chance. Get to it while you can. She can net you a few points before she loses consciousness. Nah, not even I can stoop that low. You're just a coward. And in case you were wondering, this is definitely why you've never gotten promoted. Look, I'm no chivalrous prince, but taking advantage of a girl who's too weak to move isn't a line that anyone should cross. Um, Commander, huh? sir? I'm sorry, but I can't control myself anymore. You can't what? I was watching you, and is this okay, sir? No, it's not. I'm pretty dang sure you're way too young. Snow is this team's designated fan service girl. I can mess with her guilt-free. But, sir, I don't think I can hold back. Ah. Oh, okay. If you insist, then there's nothing to be done. Sorry for making you embarrass yourself. I guess you could say you caught me by surprise. It's fine. I understand. This is just another one of those lines that probably shouldn't be crossed, isn't it? It sure is. For one thing, you and I are both part of the same unit. If we actually do what you're suggesting, there's a good chance it'll interfere with future missions. But this is an emergency. There you go. And no one's watching, so no one can judge us. Now then, just follow your instincts. This is all natural and normal, I promise. It's normal. This is an emergency, so I should trust my instincts. That's right! We're only humans, and humans have needs, you feel me? For sure! We've gotta do what we've gotta do! It's really that simple, isn't it? Yeah, I'm a little surprised, though. I wasn't expecting you to be such a man-eater, you know. Then, are carnivore girls... not to your liking? Oh, no! I think they're amazing! And it's cool to be desired, even if it means I get fewer evil points. I'm pretty sure I'll get some from this no matter what, though. We're just following the laws of nature, right? Thanks for explaining all of this to me. I feel a lot less guilty now. You feel guilty? Make sure to resist with all the strength you have, okay? Uh, what's that? You want to take advantage of me now? Well, come to think of it, I'm loving that idea. Gives me a solid excuse if we ever get caught. I kept this to myself before, but I've always wanted to eat you up. No holding back, okay? Huh? I was planning to be gentle, but if you would rather I just went all out, well, who the hell am I to argue? <laughs> Sorry, sir, but I just can't wait any longer. Give me just a second. Let me at least wipe myself down with a towel for you. I mean, it's just good manners. I think you're fine as you are. You smell like an absolute snack. I mean, I'm starting to salivate already. Well, thanks for sharing, Rose. I had no idea you could be so forward about this kind of thing. You sure know what you want, don't you? Yes! I'll make this as painless as I can! Oh, yeah? I'm in too deep! There's no backing out! No! Hey, let me ask you two something. No, go back outside! What do you think you're about to do? Just a bit of the old slap and tickle. That's right, I'm gonna eat the commander! It sounds to me like you're talking about very different things. 
I'm about to do something naughty with Rose here, right? I'm about to be locked in Mortal Kombat with the commander, right? Uh, I'm not one to kink shame, but Mortal Kombat seems a little extreme to me. But it's gotta be mortal because the loser has to get eaten in accordance with the laws of nature. Mm, do you mean eaten in, like, a sexy way? I mean eaten in, like, a food way. Ah, that isn't funny! Stay away from me, you little monster! What's wrong with you? You were all about it before. You said it was a human meat and then acting on it was natural! I did more or less say that, didn't I? This is an emergency, so there's no time to waste, Commander! <laughs> Calm down, this is all a big misunderstanding. When you told me that you liked carnivore girls, it made me happier than you could possibly imagine. Words are tricky things, huh? I guess this is what you could call a culture clash. Anyway, bye! <laughs> Yours really has me drooling much. Hearing that still makes my heart pound, but a whole lot harder than before and for very different reasons. You know what my grandpa told me? He said when you fall in love, you get the irresistible urge to become one with your partner. That may be true, but not in the way you're thinking it is. I'm leaving. Have fun, you crazy kids. Now what? Have it your way. Try and eat me. I'll just beat the snot out of you. Great. I know you have your doubts, but I think we've been fated to fight this battle since before we were born. You're facing a warrior of the Kingdom of Grace. I'm Combat Chimera Rose. Hope you're ready. You face a warrior of Kisaragi. My name's Combat Agent Six, and I'm gonna squeeze you for every evil point I can get! <laughs> risk my life for a cheap thrill. Luckily, clocking the kid was enough to earn us this ride. Uh, I'm never gonna take me for granted again. Combat chimeras are honestly scary. I fought with everything I had, and she still gave me trouble. Hmm. That's rather interesting. I'll consider it one more reason for us to start investigating this planet's ruins. Oh, there it is. Hmm? Too bad. We failed another mission. So we did. I forgot that we were on a mission. Taurus and the demons are working together. They'll launch an attack on Grace soon. I see. You're hoping I can bail you out of this, is that it? So you know, my services ain't cheap. In case you've forgotten, you are the main reason that we're in this predicament. Oh yeah, it's been so long that I'd forgotten. It's been one week, Six. You have the retention of a goldfish. <sighs> Whether you like it or not, you're taking responsibility for your failure to get the water nuts. Yeah, still not a fan of that responsibility talk. Mm -hmm. You really are a shithead, right down to your shitty, shitty core. Till we secure a new water supply, we've little to sustain our troops. Your next mission will help us end this war. Had you accomplished your previous mission, I'd have given you this map of the ruins in Taurus as a reward. According to my sources, those ruins are being investigated by a pair of demon leaders right now. Probably Heine and Russell. From what Heine told us, they're looking for an ancient weapon to defeat the Sand King. Which brings us to your mission. I'd like you to get in their way however you can and stop them from grabbing it. <laughs> so I just need to smash it, right? No, think! If we're going after this weapon... Soon, this world will be ours to rule as we please. We managed to fend off the heroes in their last major counteroffensive, but... Cheers! Taking it a little too easy? That last battle we fought was a real ass kicker. Of course the troops want to cut loose. I think they earned themselves a night of peace. I don't disagree with you, but I guess I just feel guilty about relaxing while Six and his crew are out working in the field. You worry too much, you know that, Astaroth? At least try to unwind. 
If our agents find out that their leaders are still working, then they'll think they have to do the same. All right, fine. This is just for tonight, though, right? Hell yeah! Now, why don't the two of us have some fun? <gasps> hey, you take that off and swim with me. We can warm up with a thousand meter race. Uh, why so embarrassed? It's just us girls here. We may as well swim au naturel. What are you, crazy? <laughs> I'm back. I've left the mutant mummy woman on her weird little altar for now. She should be in decent shape by morning. Thank you. That's good to hear. We'll wait for that to bring the gloomy freak back to life and then head straight for the ruins at Taurus. So attend to whatever business you have now. Roger that. I'd say my first order of business is to bitch out dear old Astaroth. Who crapped in your litter box meow? Metaphorically speaking, Astaroth took a big old dump in it. She banned me from going into negative evil points, so she's lucky my carcass isn't out there baking in the desert. All right. About that, Sixth I... You got mail! Hmm? It's from Lilith. Important. To all Kisaragi employees. We're streaming a special live event tonight. Don't miss it. Should I click it? <sighs> Knowing her, it's probably ransomware, but go for it. Huh? That's Belial. Talk about rag focus, am I right? <laughs> I enjoyed that swim more than I thought I would. Hate to disappoint, but you can't adjust the camera angle from here, Six. What gives? I'm gearing up to risk my life in a major battle against the Demon Lord's army. Well, they get to have a pool party. What are they so excited about? Probably the yearly employee survey. I'm surprised that they haven't gotten bored of it yet. Same here. Who's the idiot that came up with that survey anyway? If memory serves, you can thank Six for that survey. It was him? Here, have another. Mm, thank you. But of course. Anyway, it started when Praying Mantis Woman and Spider Woman both fancied Six. They wanted him to indicate his preference between them, so they asked him whom he'd prefer for a boss. Those two would go for him. Six has always been an absolute <sighs> magnet for weirdos. Damn straight. Of course, he dodged the question with some nonsense, like, how could I choose? You're both so wonderful. Yep, I believe it. Dumbass probably thinks he's too much of a stud for one girl. Yeah, you're right. Yes, well, that gave him the idea to put out a company-wide survey to determine who's more popular. They ended up tying, so the survey was inconclusive. But Spider-Woman and Praying Mantis Woman bonded over it, and have since become a most dynamic duo. <sighs> yeah! He may seem like an empty-headed perv at first glance, but I think Six might be an intelligent perv. Guess it's possible, but I doubt Six actually thought that mess through. The rest of the company's living it up back on Earth while I'm stuck here. This is bull. I've been working way harder than any of them, so why don't I get to have fun? I get it now. It's a tactic commonly employed by drug dealers. The first taste is free, then once you're hooked... <laughs> Care to see more? Ring that bell and don't forget to like and subscribe. Care she starts pumping you for cash. cash. That girl is a real piece of work. Damn it, guess I'll have to subscribe. I'm sure idiots across the globe are doing the same. Yeah, that is one clever kitty. Subscribe! Uh, what the hell? Why is the camera on her? She doesn't really think we want to see that, does she? I feel a little defiled. Meow, yeah, hold on a second. This is the kind of kitty playtime that makes me purr. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you want to place bets on who'll get voted number one? Sorry, but I'll pass. To be perfectly honest, I've never been much for gambling. <laughs> Well, if we're gambling, then I'll bet on myself. Ha! Wait, are you serious? You get last place every year, though. You don't even stand a chance. Sure I do. Now that you've said that, I think I'm guaranteed to win. Those who underestimate me will fail. Yes, for I'm Kizaragi's most brilliant scientist. Who doesn't love Lilith the Dark? You think she's bribing her way to victory? She blows her cash as soon as she makes it, so I doubt that she has enough money. This is probably just an empty threat. I hear everything you're saying, you fools! If I did bet, I'd put my money on you, Belial. You're very popular with the agents. See? You're in the lead now. Come 
on, Astaroth. You're making me blush. Listen, it's clear that you always have your employees' best interests at heart. I'm sure they see and appreciate that. Thanks, but I also issue a lot of harsh orders. And besides, the results of that survey aren't important to me. Oh, what? Well, they're super important to me. Look, we ask the agents to put their lives in our hands all the time, but they're only gonna do that if they have faith in us. Even if the survey's a bit of a joke, it lets us know they still trust us. Right, I suppose it's a useful practice for that reason, if nothing else. Here, I have another. Uh, um, thanks again. You claim not to care about the survey's results, but you'd still like to know who Six voted for, right? Huh? Oh. Uh, I'm not curious about who anyone voted for. Why would I be? You know, it's hard to believe, but that idiot Lilith's kind of making herself useful for once. It's a worldwide stream. I get that this organization is evil and all, but this girl is positively ruthless. She should draw the line somewhere, meow. I want to see what happens to her when they find out what she's doing. I imagine they'll make an example out of her. It's just us girls here. You don't need to be so reserved. Yeah, it's true. We, like, pretty much know, so you might as well talk. Just tell us how you feel, darling. Uh, well, yeah. I guess I'd be lying if I tried to tell you that I didn't care who Six voted for. Uh -huh. Yes, Though, what do you want me to say? He's been an irredeemable idiot ever since his first interview. And yet over all of these years, I suppose we grew to be kind of close. He's been there for me when no one else was. He doesn't ever whine about his low salary. I seem to remember him whining plenty. He takes risky missions without complaining. He was literally just bitching about the current one. Fine, so he complains all the time. He still does the work. I'm biased. He's got a lengthy list of flaws. <laughs> but that changes nothing for me. I've worked at his side ever since we found him, Kisaragi. Of course I've developed an attachment. Yeah, that's the spirit, girl. Your secret's safe with us, so spill the tea. <laughs> wait, I feel like you should save the rest. If you have anything else to say, then you should wait and say it to him in private. What's gotten into you, Lilith? She's just about to get to the good part, so shut it. It's hard. The fact is, I don't have any free time to spend with him. The free world's shrinking, but my workload's getting bigger. And once the world's ours, we'll be pressured to lay off agents. No, don't say that! What if someone happens to overhear you? It's fine. I am Astaroth the Ice Queen, one of Kisaragi's highest-ranked leaders. And I am working hard to protect our combat agents' jobs. All five million of them. I'll fight for them as they fought for us. What's going on? Stream. Now I can relive the magic every single day. You're such an idiot! Look what you've done! What do we do now? Wait, it's not over. We still have a chance. Check out the survey. It looks like she's taking the lead. She might win. All right. Everyone just heard her vow to protect their jobs. And since she clearly didn't know about the live stream, it's pretty dang obvious that she was being sincere. Yes, exactly. The alcohol made her embarrass herself, sure, but in a way that's cute and endearing. Stop talking and let me pretend I don't exist, you will you? you? It's not a big deal. So calm down and climb out of there. <sighs> Great. Now get ready. 
A bunch of agents just heard what you said and decided to change how they voted because of it. You've got to be in first place now. I don't want to be in first place anymore. Not if the prize is abject humiliation. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Come take a look with me. Um... <laughs> Do I need glasses or is Lilith in first place? What did you pull? Hey, I know losing can be painful, but that's no reason to get violent. Don't play dumb. You were way more confident than you had any right to be when you said you'd bet against me. You must have cheated. How else could you jump to first place? I'll ask you to refrain from making accusations without proof, lest you ruin the bond we share. Uh, fair. Sorry about that. I'm sorry, you had to witness that nastiness, Six. Why'd you let her up? Uh, well, she obviously she cheated. obviously didn't cheat! Lilith, did you think there was a chance in hell that voice would fool us? What voice? This rivalry of yours has gone on long enough, so just accept that Lilith is on top now. I'm feeling thirsty. Grab me a soda. Hop to Belial, your number one's given you a command. <laughs> hey. Huh? Everything okay? The voting results updated. And Lilith has gained more votes than we have agents. No way! <sighs> <sighs> you little nerd! Gotcha. So it was hacking after all, then. I've already punished the perp. Just be sure to kill the fake votes for Lilith. Oh, um, it looks like I'm in the lead now. Not that I care who wins. Silly as this survey may be, it does bring up some nice memories for me. It takes me back to when we first met. <sighs> well, every time that survey came around, I'd do what I could to help you out. So, the vote for her, right? I'll buy you next lunch if you do, capiche? What you think? Do we have a deal or not? Fine, I'll throw in another one. Hey, bada bing! I ran one hell of a crooked campaign. Yeah, I didn't authorize you to run any kind of campaign. But, well, when we talked, you said you weren't asking permission. And ignored my wishes. Yeah. Was I a nuisance? Not really. In fact, I'd say it lifted my spirits some. I never thought I'd win. But it was nice to see someone believe in me. So thank you. Oh, sure. But this is the one time I didn't do anything. And, um, well... It makes me happy to hear you say all this, but listen. Uh, um, is something wrong, Six? What happened? Uh, uh. uh, uh. Lilith just got over 15 million votes. <laughs> You're a plucky little gremlin, I'll give you that. Wait, just hit me out. This isn't what you think, honestly. You better talk quickly. Right, well, as you know, I'm a genius. So before this started, I actually put two plans in motion. Oh, and this second plan isn't cheating. Those votes were cast by people. You've gone three times over the number of combat agents in the entire organization. Uh, You're sure you didn't cheat? <coughs> there was no need to cheat. I simply hired a few million new agents to serve as my new voter base. I gave them quite the deal. Seven days off a week, 500,000 a month, instant hires with no interviews. All they had to do was write Lilith the Dark on their company surveys. For a genius such as me, it was all too easy. Your recent behavior is really opening my eyes. I'm starting to realize you're dumber than me in six. We were already looking at the prospect of company-wide layoffs. How in the world do you expect to pay all these new hires? Easy, I'm not going to. We're an evil corporation, right? Those imbeciles should have known they were getting conned. We pay veteran combat agents a fraction of that sum, treat them as expendable assets, and work them like dogs. Ouch. My word. The two of you like to put on an evil front, but it's plain to see that you're just a pair of softies. Honestly, you're lucky I like that about you. I find it quite cute. Hey, you know what? As a sign of my affection, I withdraw from the running this year. No. You're not walking out of here till you face consequences! Honestly, I'm amazed you even tried to talk your way out of all this. All right, all right. You can dock my pay this month if you must. That <laughs> won't be enough! What did you expect me to do, Lyle? Unlike you bimbos with your ridiculous porn star bodies, I had to get creative! Watch it. For a girl like me, gaining popularity...
popularity isn't as simple as showing off my jiggly bits to everyone. Seriously? Uh, oh, right. It's my fault for filming you, is that what you're thinking? Well, I hope you don't expect an apology because evil leaders are meant to be evil. <coughs> ah, guess who just earned evil points? Me. Now uh, guess who's earning more uh, evil points? Me. So Lilith's our most popular leader? Well, did you vote for her? Of course I didn't. No way. Mama didn't raise no perv. <laughs> Sure. Just hand out small dollar Kisaragi gift cards to the people she hired. Doable? Lilith can go into debt to pay for it. Yeah. Say we screwed up some paperwork. But first, go and delete the video she put up on NicoTube, got it? So, um, listen, the survey doesn't really mean anything to me, but I'm still a little curious, at least in regards to how some people voted. Huh? You lost me. I mean, considering our history, there's really no need to ask. The answer's all but assumed. Yet I still feel compelled to ask. I suppose I just want to hear the words said out loud. So here goes. Would you mind telling me who you voted for, Six? Sure, I'm not shy. Although suddenly I feel a bit shy. Uh hero alert! Hero alert! A large band of heroes is approaching the party at high speed! All mutants and combat agents must report to their battle stations immediately! Damn! Why am I always interrupted when I'm doing important things? The timing is a little suspicious, don't you think? The heroes shouldn't even know that we're having a party, let alone that we're having it on top of this hotel. But they do because a certain self-proclaimed genius decided to livestream it to the entire world. <laughs> right. How dare those heroes interrupt our party? Let's get out there and show them what for! Yeah, let's. But afterwards, we're gonna have a long talk. Belial speaking. I have news Bye. about approaching heroes for you leaders. Bad news. We sighted multiple grasshopper types. Pull your diaper up and fight! <laughs> Hold it, Lilith. You're gonna help us show the heroes what for, remember? <laughs> Listen, Agent Six. I need to attend this battle. But once it's won, I still want to know who you voted for. Don't say stuff like that. It's a major death flag and everybody knows it. What a joke! Why would anyone be afraid of these grasshopper heroes? My mutants are demonstrably stronger in every blasted way! I would now atone for my earlier mistake by beating these heroes into a bloody pulp! If you know what's good for you, you'll follow through on that. As I'm sure you all heard earlier, this appreciation party is over. Once we crush these heroes, we can kick up our victory party! I guess you guys don't have it as easy as I thought you did. Attention! No. Members of our planetary invasion force, take note. Before daybreak, we're going to prove that the strongest force in this world is Kisaragi Corp. So... left out again. I want to go have fun and explore the old ruins too, Meow. This isn't some little sightseeing trip. Taurus and the Demon Lord's army have begun their joint invasion. We'll need to split our forces to counter. They're entering <laughs> Grace's <laughs> territory. Here and balls on your here, thingy. the Royal Guard combatants will be dispatched to handle the soldiers from Taurus. And you'll be going here to stave off the Demon Lord's army. Seriously? I know he's a huge, ferocious mutant and all, but he can't hold off a big old bunch of demons by himself. She said he'd be because she thinks lowly gods are clawful and should go extinct, meow. Yes, I 100% believe that. <laughs> but I wouldn't send someone who couldn't handle the job. Now look closely at the map. Mm -hmm. You're the mutant tiger, king of the jungle, aren't you? Hey, wow. Ambush spots everywhere. I could beat these rats with my eyes closed and my tail tied in a knot, meow. That's the spirit tiger, man. Meows and stuff are still creepy, but you're a badass. Meow, no, no, stop it. While the knights and Tiger Man are occupying the enemy, our unit will make our way back to Taurus. We get our hands on that ancient weapon, and we can threaten our foes into submission. Clap, clap, clap. Just so I understand, Taurus declared war in our kingdom and we're headed there right now? Yes, this is the perfect time. Because at the moment, our only opponents in the ruins will be the Demon Lord's leaders who should already be there. Hmm. Hey, boss. Why did you pull that prank on the prince anyway? 
You may be in charge, but sometimes I gotta wonder if you're not that smart. And you may look all sweet and stuff, but sometimes I wonder if you're just a total psychopath. In case you've forgotten, you tried to eat me! Would you please stop saying that? I know I have a healthy appetite, but I would never actually try to eat you, boss. Huh? As much as we'd all like to forget about that whole thing, you were gonna gobble me up the other night! Uh, <laughs> uh, I still gotta pay that stupid loan. Hey, Six, <laughs> you need to figure out a way to shut that crybaby up before I lose my patience. Uh, I really uh, don't know what I do to make you say that about me. I'm gonna oh, go what? bankrupt. I need to make with some money like right now. Jeez, boo-hoo, Tillis cut your pay, but you gotta get over it. Just look at me. I burned through my check like corporate does the rainforest. But I don't cry about it, I still have fun. Because there's so much more to life than money. You still have fun because I'm the one who's in charge of your allowance, huh? Oh, wait, uh, you've really been getting your allowance from a little kid? That's like terminally embarrassing. I'm over here trying to make you feel better and you just want to roast me? <sighs> okay, fine. Listen, Snow, if you don't screw up this mission, I'll give you an allowance, too. And if we can successfully get that ancient weapon out of the ruins, I'll throw in a bonus to the tune of three months' paychecks. Alice, my queen! Now, like I was saying, the Demon Lord's top brass will likely already be there. So don't charge in like a wild animal. No, of course not, my queen. Your loyal Lady Snow would never even dream of letting you down. I wonder what kind of terrible things you did in your past lives to end up being you in this one. Shut up! You act like you're better, but Queen Alice is paying your way. My world runs on money, and that's all I'm after. For the right payout, I'd shank my colleagues, rat out my friends, and meet my parents just so I could screw them over as well. Not to discourage you from talking like an unredeemable piece of crap, but you've got to stop calling me Queen. I hate it. <laughs> hey, you think we should hire her at Kisaragi? She may have what it takes to be a real bad guy. She's not evil, though. She's more of a bottom-feeding scumbag like you. Oh! <laughs> I could probably buy myself another glacial sword with that kind of bonus. She'll get greedy, screw up, and drag everyone down with her. Fair. That's not me, though! <sighs> nice little nappy-poo. Shut up, sleeping booty. Looks like there's some truth to the stories of an ancient civilization. I'm beginning to think whatever's in there could be worth our time. Maybe, but the thing's just gonna go nuts and attack us or blow up or something. I know how this works. I've seen it happen in like a zillion animes. Yeah, and we can assume it'll self-destruct as well. Anyway, if they're still making camp here, we're not too late to get our hands on this mysterious weapon. Ugh, I'm so tired. Feels like we've killed every weird little enemy in there, but they keep on coming. And then there were all the traps we found. But we've almost got our hands on the prize. We'll probably reach it tomorrow. That's true. So try and get some rest, Russell. I bet you used a bunch of your magic, huh? I don't need any rest. I'm just fine. Plus, combat chimeras like me have infinite magic power. As long as I don't run out of food, I can use water magic all day and night. Okay. Then go and stuff your face, because we've got a lot to do tomorrow. I will. And I'd appreciate it if you'd stop treating me like a kid. They seem pretty worn out from their trip inside. Yeah, so what do we do now? Hey, boss, if we're going into the ruins, can we do it soon? I'd really like to wrap things up here before the night is over. I mean, you wouldn't want to miss out on your opportunity to take advantage of my awesome powers, now would you? I can't remember your weird powers being awesome or even that useful, to be honest. What? Is this going to be your big chance to prove me thong? Hey, watch your tongue! I am Grim the Archpriest! I'm a valued member of this unit! <laughs> Don't you worry about it, Grim. Even in their wildest dreams, the enemy would never imagine we'd brazenly return to Taurus at the beginning of the war. That's right, Snow. Yeah, I guess. Listen, this is something that might seem a little cowardly. Just a little. It would appear that our adversary has let their guard down. Let's forget the ruins, sneak into their camp under the cover of night, and... Sneak in there and... Stop! Cut that out! Really, uh, Snow? You're supposed to be a brave knight, aren't you? Yeah, she's right. I think the commander's rubbing off on you. Hey, I'm doing my best here. We're up against two of their top leaders, yeah? <sighs> Six, Alice, you guys have to understand how perfect this plan is, don't you? 
Just what kind of person do you take me for? A Kisaragi combat agent would never do something so stupid and lame. Uh, uh, boy six. That's exactly what I'd expect from a Kisaragi combat agent. Hold on! I'm actually trying to be just like you! So this is her trying to be like us? I'm guessing that someone must not have a very high opinion of Kisaragi. Seems not. What a shame. But at least someone set her straight. We're gonna be resting here for the night. <sighs> then tomorrow we follow them in. We let them go ahead of us and fight all the monsters and trigger all the traps. They'll totally wear themselves out trying to reach the goal. And once they're relaxed and happy, we murk them. <laughs> they're giving us a golden opportunity. Do you really think that I'd want to waste it on some lame-ass night attack? <laughs> well said. Spoken like a true Kisaragi agent. Bravo. <laughs> Sudden, we go from fantasy to some freaky science fiction. There's something odd about this planet's history and civilization. I think what we've witnessed so far is some kind of post collapse society. Just look at her. A creature like that didn't happen naturally. Mm -hmm. Something wrong? It's nothing really. Just that, even though I know for a fact that this isn't the same ruin that I was found in, it still feels familiar to me. Fascinating. Well, let's focus on tailing them for now. What are you trying to do with that thing, uh, Snow? Some kind of ancient relic? Which means it's gotta be worth a nice bag of gold at least! <laughs> a big part of me is feeling like we should just leave her behind. Guess my offer of a bonus for a job well done wasn't enough for her. Yeah, these are defo robot carcasses, right? Looks to me like they were old and falling apart. But yes, they're robots. Probably for security. Six, wait! Huh? I think my guy would be out the nose for Cut this. it out, okay? We still need to catch up to Highness unit. Uh... We can come back for this if there's time. Alice, will you talk some sense into her? Interesting. These guys are clearly powered by a kind you of... two! They're familiar. I feel like I used to play with them back when I was younger. Uh... Heine, there's more of them! A new type of guardian. They just won't stop, huh? I'll handle them. My flames will turn them into piles of ash! <laughs> After this and the camping, I'm ready to take a nap in a real bed again. Well, since I'm a combat chimera, the rugged lifestyle works perfectly for me. You like the modern comforts, huh? I guess I just don't need as much pampering and convenience as you do. You don't have to be a brat about it, you know? <laughs> Seems like they're friends to me. Let's move. <clears throat> Yet another trap. Are you okay, Russell? You hurt? No, I'm perfectly fine thanks to you, Heine. It looks like it got you a little bit, though. Hang on just a second, and I can heal you. You know that you don't need to protect a combat chimera like me. We're tough. I just don't want anything to happen to you, is all. We're working together as a team to beat the Sand King, but we need you the most. Because only you can do it. I know. I can't die yet. At least not until we're done with all this and have finished off the Sand King. Well, you can't die after we're done here either, you understand? You may be mature, but you're still just a kid. And grown-ups are supposed to look out for kids. <laughs> I still don't want you to treat me like one, though. And just you watch, there's gonna be a time when you're in trouble and you'll need me to look out for you instead. <laughs> I can't wait for that. <laughs> hey, it's not a joke, I'm serious! Look at those two morons, they have no idea that we're even here. Yo, Grim. Psst, psst, psst. You alive or what? Yeah, what do you need now? I can't see the sun, but my body is telling me that it's still out and I need to be somewhere sleeping. Neat. So you think you could throw one of your little curses their way or what? If they were to lose their magic powers all of a sudden... 
They'd be up a certain creek without a paddle. I mean, it's not a bad idea. But I'm gonna need to call it out in kind of a loud voice for the curse to have its full effect. I don't know, boss. I'm actually starting to feel really bad for them. They're putting everything they've got into their mission. Don't start getting soft on me. Your entire stupid country is depending on us with this thing. So wussing out is not an option, you feel me? Uh, it's just that... Bonus. Uh, well, I am still a knight. I vow to serve the kingdom. <laughs> Come on, Rose, just play along. When we get back, I'll stuff you so full you can barely walk. Commander, hmm? do you honestly believe I'll do anything you ask as long as you promise there's a meal involved? I'll do it this hmm. time, but don't get cocky. Well, if you ask me, it may be too late for both of them. This is it, Heine. We're finally here. So that's the weapon that can defeat the Sand King. Makes sense that it would be so big. Yeah, it was originally built to wipe out those hairless monkeys that started infesting the planet's surface. So I say after we get rid of the Sand King, we go ahead and finish the job on the humans. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. You really despise humans, don't you? Of course I do! After all, my own creator wanted me to end their plague. Are you trying to say that you don't hate them? I heard they did all kinds of terrible things to you. Yes, but we are in a war. Can't swear revenge for every little thing. <clears throat> no. You know what, on second thought, I would love to take revenge on that one guy. Let me guess. That fool we met in Taurus, right? I'll let you have some time alone with him when we get the chance. I would appreciate that. But once this thing is running, the war will be over in a flash. Ready, Russell? I know you can handle it. Let me know if I can help. Oh, I've got this. Just sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> hey, looks like everything is still operational. It'll be a piece of... You're not the toast, fish boy! Russell of the Water and the Elite Four! Shall call your own balls! No! Russell! Stop and start reaching for the sky. <sighs> what in the hell are you even doing down here? Isn't it obvious? We've come to secure these ruins and grab that weapon. And if you try to get in our way, I'll take out my frustrations on the kid while you watch. <sighs> oh, you are just the worst. <gasps> Wait a minute. Don't tell me that you've been following us this entire time. You have! And now you're trying to steal the prize from under us! <sighs> yup, that's what's happening, all right. We just watched as you and the fishy little rugrat freak did all the heavy lifting for us. Unbelievable. Do you have any idea how many days it took to make it this far? It's just so unfair. Of course a scumbag like you would do this. Some lines shouldn't be crossed. Yes, and as a bad guy, it's my job to cross those lines, sugar britches. <laughs> Since I've got you, Heine, who was that one guy you were talking about indulging your revenge fantasies on just a minute ago anyway? I don't remember saying it was you, okay? A6? I'm just about to get to the good part here. The kid. He's not breathing. Russell, Party no! foul. I guess that was a critical hit. Damn fine work. Russell! Russell! Holy crap! Did I just, like, murder a kid? Come on, Alice, you can fix him, right? The only thing that I can do is give him a shot. It'll either work or not. Hey, rise and shine. <sighs> what happened to me? Well, I kicked you in the meat clacker so hard that it practically killed you. But we're cool and the fight's pretty much over. So we kind of decided that we should probably let you live. Is that so? You snuck up on me, didn't you? He was just freaking out, and now he's playing cool. You girls are hearing this, aren't you? Yeah, I think I actually heard him say that the battle is over. Even Great Lord Cenerith would be disgusted with this kind of behavior. Oh, I get it. You were waiting for me to wake up so you could steal this weapon right in front of my eyes. You catch on quick. Now don't go getting any funny ideas, you hear? You're awful. This may sound strange coming from a demon, but is this okay with you people? I want you to open this baby up for us, okay? 
Then you're gonna explain to us in detail how the hell we're supposed to work the thing. I am super feeling like we're the bad guys in this situation. I don't want to hear that now. I'm doing this for the kingdom. That justifies it, right? Snow, do you honestly think you can look me in the eyes and say that? It's super easy to activate it. All you gotta do is touch this thing. As long as you have clearance, you're good. Why is he doing what I asked him? <laughs> hey, uh...
Well, we can't give up now. If we lose hope, we're gonna be stuck in here forever. So think! We can't die here with all the snow. You suck. Snow sucks, but she's still kind of hot. Maybe if we handed her over, they'd let the rest of us go free. I have an idea. Maybe I should try to negotiate? Hmm? I mean, because I'm pretty sure that he and I are the same type of chimera. Plus, I might be able to find out more information about where I came from and all that. Sounds great. Probably won't make things worse. Listen, Rose, that's a perfect angle. Make him think y'all are the same. Uh. <sighs> <sighs> if Astaroth ever found out that I was doing this, letting some little kid handle the tough stuff, she'd hate me. You should stay here and keep an eye on that useless thong witch. Just let me take care of old Robo Fish Boy. Uh, no offense, but you really think you can pull it off? <clears throat> hey, you're still just a lowly apprentice combat agent, remember? Kisaragi has the superior tech. That big piece of crap the little freak is driving is no match for the kind of heat I'm packing. Hang on a second, I don't remember ever agreeing to be an apprentice anything to anybody, and I can do a whole lot more than just babysit Grimm. So what are you thinking, Alice? I'm sure you must have a buttload of brilliant ideas. I do have one we can try. But we warned there are three risks involved. First, we're gonna have to give up on recovering that robot. Second, you'll need to be willing to go into the red on your evil points again. As I understood it, going in the hole on evil points was totally off the table. I did ask that you not be allowed to drop into negative points unless it's an emergency. As I saw it, it was the only way we could get you to stop. <laughs> Whatever would I do without someone who knows me so well looking out for me? Come on! All that drama in the desert was a major emergency, don't you think? Why can't you cut me some slack once in a while? If things had gotten too far out of hand, I would have bailed us out. But you still survived without me ever having to do that, didn't you? My complete faith in your survival specs never wavered for a moment. <clears throat> Man, how the hell am I supposed to argue with that? Okay, fine. Go on and tell me what the last risk is. We're gonna need you to buy us a little time. Think of it as baiting a trap to catch a giant rat. I do pride myself as a master baiter. Not to mention, I've got a reputation for being one of the toughest in the biz. I'm not sure what you're gonna use those points for, but I know you'll take care of things. Because you're my smart partner. Though I'm not sold on your brains and personality. I trust you 100% when it comes to fighting matters. Cause you're my strong partner. So Alice, you gonna tell us where we're running or what? Shouldn't we be giving back up to the commander? You'll both be helping me instead. In that big room, the one where we found the robot should work. I'll use some heavy equipment to build it. But I can't do it by myself. Just don't forget that the longer this takes us, the less likely six is to survive. Do, do what now? I'm losing my patience out here. Listen up! I want you peons to go inside and smoke them out. Do that and I might forgive you for letting them sneak in in the first place. <sighs> yes, understood, Russell. We'll take care of them. They don't stand a chance against us!
You actually think that I'm just some regular ass pathetic human, do ya? Well, I quit being a human a long time ago! so you shouldn't be in any pain. Thank you. I think I actually feel pretty much okay. Excellent news. Although you may have hurt your head, I can run a few tests on you later. I can't have you getting any stupider now, can I? Things are difficult enough as it is. That's kind of a mean thing to say after everything I've gone through. Well, what happened after I went down? I won the fight, of course. Turn that mech into a pile of scrap metal. I knew that you could handle it, especially behind the wheel of our trusty destroyer. 
The enemy had a more powerful machine than I did, but I was a better pilot by far. Only took a little bit of damage in the fight. It's all fine, though. Like what kind of damage? Is everything okay? Yeah. You went deep into negative points to get me the destroyer. It was the only way it would work. The repairs are going to take a while, but I'll make sure it's still usable. I was asking if you're... Nothing, never mind. Uh, in case you were wondering, Snow and Rose ended up capturing Russell. I threatened the nearby Taurus army platoon with a destroyer and they fled. I'm glad that's all taken care of. And I think I know exactly how to handle that mouthy little fish kid. So, what about the rest of the Demon Lord's army? Tiger Man was able to take them all out by himself, just like I thought. And we reclaimed quite a bit of land from them and Taurus. Which means we've completed the mission that Astaroth gave us, too. Now all that's left is peace talks with Taurus. We should leave that up to the princess, though. Cool. Then that just leaves me with one final question. Why in the hairy hell are you taking off my underwear? You've got it backwards. Hey! I'm actually putting them on. Just stop messing with them! Why are you fiddling around in my drawers while I'm asleep, anyway? Are you trying to get an eye full of my humongous wungus or what? I don't have the slightest interest in your chun chun maru. I was just taking care of your bodily waste. My schlong needs a name that makes knees weak and ladies leak, not some cute-sounding crap. Uh, bodily waste, huh? So how long have I been out of commission? This is day three, which from what I observed is long enough to have to piss and shit multiple times. Oh man, I am never getting married. Stop whining, Mr. Poopy Pants. Please do not call me that, I'm begging you. Someday you'll be too old to move and take care of yourself. But I'll be there to look after you till the day you die. Right, partner? Uh, I guess so. Astaroth doesn't show that same kind of interest in me. Grim's a mess and Rose is too scary. And Snow is completely out of the question. I can settle for you, I suppose. You actually just said out loud that you could settle for me. You're so lucky that I'm an android, you know? Because a normal woman would have murdered you right then and there. <laughs> That's right, you're an android, aren't you? We can make him give you a new body with long legs and big old jiggly honkers. I bet they'll even install a flesh down there. <laughs> That's quite an interesting thing to say to somebody who spent days cleaning up your messes. But if you want to fight, then bring it on. Simmer down, Alice. We still have messes to clean up. Hmm? What say you and I go for a little walk? Yo, looking good, kiddo. It's hard to believe that you're still alive and kicking after everything I did to you. Guess you're pretty tough. That's just one of the things that makes me a living legend, bruh. <laughs> anyway, I've got a little Not offer interested. for you. The legend is still talking, short stack. So stop being such a brat and listen up. It's actually a pretty good deal for you, too. You know how this kingdom desperately needs water, don't you? So I was thinking uh, with your power... Shut up, man! Did you not hear me say that I wasn't interested in your dumb offer? Although I may still be just a kid, I'm a leader in the Demon Lord's army. So I'm not gonna betray them to the first person that makes me an offer. Oh yeah? It'd be way better if you'd get with the program while we're still playing nice, you feel me? Because I guarantee you'll wish you did. Do your worst. Combat chimeras aren't particularly affected by the heat, the cold, or even pain. I can resist almost any torture. Or is the legendary bad guy Agent Six too much of a coward to try and hurt an itty bitty kid like me? <sighs> Have it your way. I'm done. Hmm? I gave it my best shot, Tiger Man, but the brat's just too stubborn. I see. Guess I'll have to get my paws on him, meow. Oh, yeah? I didn't realize that torture was your specialty, Tiger Man. Hmm. Who's the freak? If you're humans, why do you have a disgusting, hairy beast man on your team? Go around. <laughs> hey, beast man, can you understand human language? You able to talk? Perfect, Six. I'll buy you a saucer of beer later, meow. <laughs> I appreciate it, Tiger Man. You're not just creepy, you're super cool and creepy. You really screwed up by not taking Six's offer, because then all you would have had to do is make water every day. Huh? Meow. Huh? I am no.
known as Tiger Man. So good to meet you. I'm a mutant that just loves the kiddos so much that when I retire, they're actually gonna make me into a pretty little girl, meow. Hmm? I hope you're ready. I have a strong feline. You and I are gonna get furry close. But don't you worry. I can be as gentle as a kitten, meow. <laughs> Too bad for you because I'm a boy. I guess an animal like you wouldn't be able to tell, huh? Oh, I could tell. And no lion, I prefer it that way, meow. <laughs> you have such a cute, delicate face. I'm sure you'll be fetching in a skirt, meow. Hey, what is this thing saying to me? It's a bluff, right? To scare me? I don't care if you're a boy or a girl. I'm like an old saloon door, which means I can swing whichever way I need to, meow. a boy, Tiger Man. Way to take bad cop, bad cop to the next level. Ow, ow! <laughs> I get it. You guys beat me, okay? I'll make water and do whatever else you want. Oh, you are the man, Tiger Man. Now the kid is saying he'll help us. Not so fast. You can't toy with me like this and then just change your mind. You feel me, Al? Please, I surrender now. Have mercy. This is way too weird for me. I'm sorry, okay? Please forgive me. Mm, oh, fine. Don't throw a hissy fit. All I'll make you do today is wear a cute little skirt, meow. But in exchange, promise that you're gonna make an ocelot of water for Kisaragi. Yeah. You made a huge mistake today, water boy. Though we're on different sides, if you consider yourself a bad guy, remember this. You either resist right up to the bitter end, or you switch sides at the first opportunity. This is totally unacceptable. I gave Alice a light but effective curse down in the ruins, and the next thing I knew, I was waking up on the altar. I never got a scene of my own great moment. What do you mean? You had a moment. You did your whole backfire thing, and then everybody laughed at you. No way! I refuse to be your comic relief! Do you hear me? Ever since I joined this unit, it's been one bad thing after another. Rejection and Taurus, starvation in the desert, and not a single group date has worked out for me! Your dating tales are not my fault, okay? But I understand. You're not happy. So I'll put in the request to have you move to another unit, ASAP. No! Please don't! I beg it, Commander! You can't just abandon me after we've been through so much together! I thought you were different by your throwing! on my part to believe you'd actually blow up if you put some freaking shoes on. Say what now? You heard me. And if you put forth the effort to walk on your own two feet, we wouldn't have had to drag you around everywhere like a whiny sack of potatoes. <laughs> Commander, are you being serious right now? That really hurts my feelings. Hey, Yellis, yeah. have him send down some socks. I want to see what happens when she puts them on. Yeah, that'll be a perfect experiment. No, no, no! <laughs> What I want you to do is slide those tootsies in there. Nice and cozy. Aww. You murdered me, you dead-eyed little gremlin! Oh, great Lord Zedrus, this is not what it looks like! They force this on me! Uh, you're starting to feel a little bit warm there, Grim. Hold the phone, are you actually glowing? Self-destruct? You're gonna self-destruct, aren't you? Why in the hell are you so happy about this? Clear out, everyone! Goodbye! 